Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm, mm, 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 baby. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I really was not going to do this. But I guess I will. Fuck it. Fuck it. I really didn't want to do this, but... You know, I have FOMO. I have the fear of missing out. I don't want to miss it. We got five minutes before we see some of the some some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. And, uh, I, you know, I figured why not? Why not just stream it? You know, I, I got FOMO. I got FOMO, dude. I don't like missing things, dude. And I hate being out of the loop. I'm always out of the fucking loop and I'm tired of it. So. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch it and I figured why not stream it if I watch it, you know, no point in No point in not right. Oh, uh, what's up Michael? How you doing, bro? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna stream this event. Fuck it uh, It's already out. No, it's uh, it's not out yet. You can pre-order though. I just I just pre-ordered actually I Man, I bought the deluxe dude. Ah, oh, I did it, bro. I couldn't help it because I, I the, the only reason I did it the only reason I purchased pre-ordered the deluxe is because of all the double XP you get and I want I want I don't want to be behind this time I remember last time on warzone I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna grind it out I'm not gonna be behind I'm gonna buy this and then I ended up going back to blackout this time hell no nah, dude since we're already done with blackout I'm you know what I'm all balls deep bro I'm balls deep in it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna miss out on this I'm gonna I've got the Deluxe edition. I've got the double XP, double weapon XP, whatever else they got. I got it all, the whole nine yards. So I'm not. I, I don't plan on missing out, and I I plan on grinding this game just as much as I do uh, Warzone. So what's up, Chris? What's up, Jamie? What's good, Brandon? How you doing? Damn, 1100 days. Okay, pre-order months ago. <clears throat> yeah, everything. Yeah, everything comes out like tomorrow. So. All the all the betas out tomorrow for PlayStation. It's PlayStation first. Um, so we got we got three minutes left on this countdown before we uh we see some gameplay. Um, I'll full screen this. I won't be talking as much. I'll just kind of let it go. Um, I mean obviously I'll still comment on certain things, but you know we can enjoy the experience together, and uh, you guys can get my first reaction, initial reaction, or impression. Um, but yeah. Open beta is on the PlayStation Store, yeah. Cause I mean, it comes out. It comes out tomorrow. I'll be on grinding too. Hell yeah. I mean, it's crazy to think about this chat, but there are still people out there grinding Blackout. <laughs> no offense, man. No offense, but listen, it's time to let go. It's time to let go of that game. I don't even care. I don't even care if you're you're playing as as not a streamer, bro. It's time to fucking let that game go, dude. Honestly. It honestly is. There, there are four to five new Call of Duties out now. <laughs> uh, Alex, appreciate the share, man. Chris, thank you for the shares as well, dude. Brandon, also, thank you so much for the shares, guys. I greatly appreciate them. All the likes, all the likes coming in, guys. Thank you so much. Um, greatly appreciate it. I'm playing it now. Hell, bro, you need to get off that, dude. I'm telling you. I don't know, man. That game is just so dead. You're queuing in with the same people over and over. Road to Mastery camo? No, see, the thing is... The thing is with Vanguard... When Vanguard came out, man... Like, I was... I was like... I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna grind the game. And... I'm gonna get up higher levels. I'm gonna get all the guns. I'm gonna get all the attachments for everything. And all that. And then... And then I saw the atomic camo and then everyone was like grinding for that atomic camo and everyone's and then I lost like I lost like what I was the point of what I was playing Vanguard for which was to level everything up and have everything ready for for Warzone. And yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to get wrapped up in camos this time. I, I I cannot. I will not. I shall not. I can't. I don't know, man. Camos if you like camos and then go for it. But me personally, dude, I cannot get wrapped up in the camos this time. I'm going to be grinding for guns, attachments, perks, whatever, whatever is going to help me in either the new Warzone or Modern Warfare 2. I mean, I'm just going to grind out Modern Warfare 2 for Warzone 2, basically, at that point. 
I'm excited to see what Warzone 2 is like. That's what I'm really... Because that's... I mean, Modern Warfare 2, great. Yeah, multiplayer, awesome, sicko. Like, but everyone... Let's be real. Everyone's going to get sick of Modern Warfare 2 eventually. Eventually. And then it's going to just be like Warzone. Warzone 2. I, I, that's what I feel like. That's honestly how I feel. Maybe, maybe there's some multiplayer fiends out there that just love it. And that's fine. But me personally, especially, I feel like... I feel like the majority of people are going to play Modern Warfare 2 just for Warzone 2. Uh, what's up, Paige? I don't know. We'll see. Alright, uh, I think it's about to start. Ah, oh, here we go. Let me pause my music here. We got a... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's uh, 1080p 60 frames, please. Bump up the volume. Uh, let me close out of this. Alright. Let's full screen this. Minimize this. All right, I'm about to. I'm gonna move my face cam. Actually, I'm gonna let this play. I don't know what's about to show up. What's up, Heather? Oh, we get another countdown. Oh, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> we got another 29 minute countdown. Okay. There's a countdown for a countdown. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, I like this music though. Kind of hype. Yeah, this is getting me. Yeah, this is kind of nice. I don't know. I'm excited to see what's uh, what's in store though. I'm more excited for Warzone 2 than anything though. Warzone 2 is the game I will be grinding the fuck out of. I will. I mean, let me let me let me retract that. I will grind the hell out of Modern Warfare 2 for Warzone 2. I can't believe there's a countdown for a countdown. It's kind of wild. There was literally a countdown just for another countdown, chat. <laughs> Brings back memories? Yeah. Honestly, it just... It's fun. It's fun, but nothing will beat... Nothing will beat like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, like release days where like everyone would go in person to like GameStop or whatever up at midnight and wait to get their hard copy of the game. Nothing, nothing will ever beat that nostalgia. I'll be mailing you a letter this weekend. Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't think that there was going to be another 30 minute countdown. Didn't didn't plan for that. <laughs> so, uh, wow. <laughs> I haven't searched it, but is Warzone 2 releasing the same day as Modern Warfare 2 or will it come out later? You know, that's a good question. I think it comes out later. Well, let me double check. Or maybe someone in chat, someone probably in chat knows. Warzone 2 release date. It's saying November 16th. So. That's speculation though. I don't think it, I don't think it's in the air. I don't think it's out in the open yet. 100% confirmed. But it's speculating for November 16th. Which uh, is not far off. I mean, what? We're almost... Like the biggest Warzone player, like that's my oh. thing. So I'm just super hyped to just hop on and see the new map. Yeah. Who's that? It is gonna be so exciting. Obviously, being able to get on the sticks, try it out, see how you feel about it. What are you expecting? Oh, Nick. I don't know who the hell that is, to be honest. <laughs> for a long time now. But what do you want to see? What's some of the changes you want made? I'm definitely wanting to see like new movement, maybe, because you know, slide counting like the biggest thing in Warzone. So maybe like a new thing that bridges the skill gap and adds like a new level to like grind it out. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. So do I. Thank you so <laughs> much. Appreciate awesome. it. You. Have the best time. Enjoy Thank yourself. You. I'm so hyped. <laughs> okay. He tagged you because uh, you're never here. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. What what Call of Duty does, Joseph, is they'll they'll squeeze it out earlier than what it should be that's what if if anything that's what they should do is if the game's not ready push the date back 
But it, what they do is they release an unfinished game and then they update it as they go along. Organized chaos. That's what they did with Blackout. And they even admitted it. They even admitted to that. Dude's got sweaty tits. <laughs> He's a sweaty Twitch streamer. Oh. Surprise. Well, I don't ever. I'm never on Twitch, so it's probably why I never heard of him. What's up, Renault? How you doing, man? Hey, let's go, Chris, with 130 stars, my man. Let's go, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate the 130, baby. What are you most looking forward to seeing here today? Oh, is that a? That's butters or whatever, right? I'm looking forward to seeing something that's familiar, Let's stop this star go. Hell yeah. Let's start it. A little bit of a throwback, right? Are this you is butters, right? Kind of replay an old classic in a yeah. Iteration? Modern Warfare 2 is my absolute favorite COD of all time. 2009, that was my very first Call of Duty that I ever owned. I am so ready to experience just that nostalgia again. I mean, at least they're breaking up the whole fucking extra half hour that they added to their other countdown. <laughs> You've been here, man. That is some bull fucking shit. I'm just, I'm just playing. Warzone is still isn't running as smooth as it should. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's all right. It, it's got a, what's bugging me right now with Warzone is like the bugs. No, no pun intended there. Uh, like the loadout glitches and stuff like that. Like that kills me. Literally kills me. <laughs> Code Bowl 3 presented by USA is back. Tune in. What? What? Should I just like hide my face cam and just like not talk and pretend that like I'm the official like live stream? Like this, like here, watch. can't wait to pop off on this game. Me too. Oh, it got quiet. What are you guys most excited about? Let's go, Christopher. Thank you so much for the stars, my man. Let's get some star hype in chat. Where are my supporters at? Where are my Facebook supporters, baby? Let's see them. Let's see them beautiful, sexy ass star hype stickers in chat. We got my man Chris going in with the stars. Let's go, dude. Appreciate you. What's up, Sean? Huge creator, but we also have three incredible pro players. Uh, Ex-pro player, but amazing creator as well coming out through here. Modern Warfare 2, this is huge for you guys and for the rest of your career, of course. So going into your new season, what do you want out of this big game? Because this is massive for you guys. I'm a simple guy when it comes to Call of Duty. I just want to see the best COD of all time being played. And I personally think that MW2 will Why be is the a dude best sweating? COD of all time. Well, yeah, it, it will, you know what? I think it will be. It will be, you know it what? It will be. Dude's sweating before the new COD's even out. So he was saying earlier he wants like nice and fast paced. I'm looking for the opposite. I want a nice slow paced game. I can sit a little further back, watch over my teammates. I'm 25 and I'm proud of it. And uh, 
I think it's gonna be the perfect mix of both. Some good maps, some good. Fun. 25, and I'm proud of it. Year, he's 25, and he's proud of it, chat. Hopefully, beat his team. Lost by one round recently at the big one. So, hopefully, hopefully a good year ahead. Yep. Cool. Anything you like to add? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking for good maps. I mean, I want to see uh, just a different variety of maps. I think it'd be really cool. And we could switch it up between fast and slow. I just want to see some creativity in the map. So that's what I'm looking for. Can we go play? Go on, go on, right, go on. get out of here. Bye. Thank you so much, Dennis. Must be nice being a spoiled ass big streamer like that. Getting to play a new COD earlier. Uh, Walid, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Just think about this, chat. Just think about this. There's going to be a new Call of Duty out right now. And there are still people playing Blackout. Y'all, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. Move on, move on, move on, move on. Watch other things. You know what? You know what I thought about? Now that there's a new Call of Duty out, all the sweats are going to be gone from Warzone. So all you Blackout noobs or Warzone noobs, I guess I should say, Blackout veterans can come on safely to the to Warzone and uh, play that. So you'll be good. You don't have to worry about getting shot on. Yeah, Gabe, I've, I already pre-ordered it, man. Follow Call of Duty and tweet Codex sweepstakes for a chance to win six pairs. Of, I would not even want those shoes, to be honest. Uh, call me old fashioned. I really, those are ugly to me. What are those? What are those? Maybe I'm just not hip enough, bro. I, I don't know. I'll wear my, my pair of Adidas that I got. I, those shoes are probably, they, what? They probably go for like $500, don't they? What's up, Philip? I just can't believe it, bro. There are people. Uh, let me, let me, hang on. Let me go to, let me go to Twitch real quick. Let me go to, let me go over to Twitch on my phone real fast. Hang on. Let's see something. 607 people streaming Black Ops 4. Oh, excuse me. All right. Fuck those shoes, bro. Look, look at all these people still streaming this shit. Login servers are going through that is crazy, bro. Bummer. That is crazy. Login servers are going through maintenance right now. Bummer. Wait. You can, uh, first of all, thank you for the 100 stars. But also, are you able to... Thank you, Sean. Are you able to... Uh, I thought the beta is not open till the 16th. I, you know, I'm debating... I'm debating if I want to play the beta or not. Because let's like think about it. Like the beta is like I don't know, man. I I, I just I I don't want to ruin the experience early. Like cuz what if they make changes after the beta? I don't know, man. Did you buy the $100 vault or the $69 one? I bought the $100 one. Unfortunately, tax write off for me. What happens at the end of the timer? Uh, my stream ends. You can download the beta right now and get it ready for the 16th. Oh, okay. But wait, chat question really quick. Does anybody know this? Hang on, let me mute so you guys can hear me better. If you pre-order, if you pre-order Modern Warfare 2 via Battle.net, can you play the beta on PlayStation? Let me ask that again, just to make, just to be clarified. If you pre-order on Battle.net, not PlayStation, on Battle.net, can you play the beta still on PlayStation? Riddle me that. I think you can. I'm not sure though. Let me see if I have an email, because I just did pre-order, so. Um, 
Order number, purchase details. I don't think so. I think you can. Beta version is like peeking at your Christmas gifts before Christmas. That's true. Good, good, good analogy there. That's a good, that's a good comparison, honestly. Even more so because it's not even finished. Like they may change several things to the game and then it be, it would be released. Like guns, tweaking guns, tweaking uh, sounds, tweaking visuals, tweaking movement, uh, patching things, buffing things, uh, fixing glitches, bugs. Like you get, you, those are, those are all the things that you're going to get within a beta. And those things all together combined can ruin your experience for the game before you actually even play the real game. So then you come in with a bittersweet taste of the game before you're even playing it, like the actual full on game, which is why like I'm debating on whether I want to do that or not. I don't know. Call me weird. Booba. <laughs> Honestly, being able to see a lot of people who played online together finally in the same area after everything that's gone on and being able to get back together, I could be wrong too, Steela. Like, that's going to be a really fun time for people to be able to like see each other across the way. More Twitch people that, that I don't know. A lot happening. There's a lot being revealed. You guys are getting that. I think still mountains there. On it, but we've got Warzone 2.0. We've got multiplayer. So much going on. What is your game? What is your game on cards? You know, what are you looking forward to? So I'm a huge multiplayer search and destroy fan. Oh, so a little bit different than most people here. Hey, I'm trying. I'm looking. Mainly Warzone. Where is it? Great at Warzone, <sighs> trying to find the part where I asked. Thing, that's my thing. Where I, I care. To hear that. And what about you? <laughs> also, search and destroy. That's how we met. Wow, so hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> search and destroy all day. I play all the betas and keep what you said in the back of my head. Yeah. But like the thing is, DJ, like is you can do that. You can still play them and keep that in the back of your mind. But subconsciously at the same time, I feel like it's just going to be like, you're going to get like annoyed. Like me personally, at least I would get annoyed still. <laughs> Searching to show I fucks with it. <laughs> hey, hit her up, bro. She's on Twitch. <laughs> well, let me go back here. How many, how many viewers do you have on YouTube right now watching this? 144,000 and then on Twitch they have 36,000 watching. That's crazy. More eyes on YouTube, huh? Let's see. Cloaksy's playing it. Symphony's playing. I think Ninja's playing it. TP, of course TP is going to play it. Merc. Uh, Huskers maybe? Aiden. Aiden's playing it. Joe Wo. Doug is raw. Nick Merc's of course. <laughs> there's people, there's people on Twitch. There's people on Twitch that tagged Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and are streaming this. <laughs> What's up, Jada? Yeah, exactly. Same, DJ. Does the beta come out today? No, it comes out uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Michael. I'm just, I'm just scrolling through, I'm just scrolling through my Twitch right now. And there's someone that, I'm not going to name him, but it, the person tagged Black Ops 4 and is streaming this. <laughs> I, I tagged, I tagged Modern Warfare 2, the actual game that they're going to be playing. I can just hear, I can just hear Black Ops 4 players right now, chat. This is going to be it. This is my game where I make the switch. This is where I get off Black Ops 4.
Right. Okay. PlayStation only beta. Yeah. PlayStation only page. Yep. They, the day I go to work. Yo, Carl, bro. I got really good advice for you, Carl. Listen. I know. So since you're going to work the day it's supposed to come out, just quit your job. Holy mustache. So many different things that you're going to be able to test out here today. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'm most looking forward to find out more information about Warzone 2 and the future of the Bro, franchise. what the fuck? Who is this? Warzone has really helped adapt to How does this dude look 15 and 29 control, at the same time? Side of things. And I just want them to see them, you know, be able to refine it come in with ricochet this time not have any of the issues we do yeah exactly Jay, to let them really be able to, they know, will to start hit the ground running this time as we look ahead to war zone two do you have my views just dropped all the blackout viewers just, just on dropped off one? oh yeah i have some great ones <laughs> i'm just um, getting rid of them dance was probably one of my favorite things i streamed for i did my first subathon it was bro how straight, dude bro's got him covered the whole thing from the bro's Easter got a mustache dude and, and he's 15 i swear to god seeing the nuke actually explode and I, I don't know if anybody keeps up with Modern Warzone, but I had been saying since Verdance came out that it was going to be blown up by a nuke. So to see it happen was just euphoric for me. Oh, so you're a fortune teller. Well, see if your predictions come true for this next Bro, game. that mustache does not belong on that guy. Shave it. Shave it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big mustache advocate. That dude's got to lose that mustache, though. That the dude, that makes that guy look like 15 and... 29 at the same time and it's throwing me the fuck off as soon as i saw him bro i was like whoa whoa i don't know who that is but good god dude that's crazy i love mustaches but damn dude sunny like smiley face smiley face smiley face as long as he's ever spoken face. to him <laughs> hey chris coming in with more stars oh thank you not the porn stash. Whoo, man. It's like the rest of his face just looked like it wouldn't have hair. You know what I mean? Like his whole, his like cheeks and everything just don't have hair. Uh, what is this, man? They showing the gameplay? Yeah. It's going to be a bunch of, a bunch of streamers, like actual streamers actual streamers a bunch of fucking streamers that are uh big names like ninja uh cloak c symphony probably nick Merckx, tp tim the tap man i'm sure is probably there some facebook streamers i think like probably stone mountain i'm sure um they're all playing uh modern warfare 2 together and we just sit here us the peasants we just sit here and watch them and be like ooh ah ooh um that kind of thing there's uh so many what's his face uh merc what's his name merc i'm looking forward to the courage courage sorry you expect, courage from the cowardly War, dog heather coming in with the hundred shut up courage no one cares get out of here courage courage the cowardly dog courage the cowardly streamer I want to see what type of crazy weapons we can come up with. I cannot wait to just lay the smack down on all the Call of Duty League pros that are here. They're all absolute noobs. I'm looking forward this to This dude's going to get smacked. That dude's going to get smacked, bro. I can already tell you right now without even watching. That Courage is going to get smacked. He always does. Thank you so much for the 100 stars, Heather. I really appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day. Modern Warfare 2 was my favorite COD. If it reminds me of it reminds me of the old version, I'll be off Black Ops 4 for good. If hopefully it does, man, because damn, bro, there there's uh how many Call of Duties out now? There's like three or four Call of Duties. Out. I would say just you should just get off Black Ops 4 anyways. I just, Warzone's fun. You just gotta learn the movement and shit. You know, I don't ever run into any cheaters, really. Unless they're, like, soft cheating. Which, even then, is not as bad as, like, an actual cheater cheater. Pumpkin eater. If they're really cheating, then they either get banned or they get that, uh, ricochet. One-man army? Dude, if they have one-man army, I'm gonna cry. 
I will I will die. They they're not gonna have it as broke as MW2 though. MW2 was broken, but it was still fun because it was broke. All right, Spike, so good to have you guys in the building. Oh, look, it's Swage. His motley crew. Really good, man. I mean, How tall is that guy? The name itself has so much hype around it, and it's just so exciting to play a game. Infinity War is my favorite company to make the game, so I'm super excited. Amazing stuff. Uh. So intense. How are you guys feeling? We've got Warzone 2.0. Our, our first event here, so I mean, we're, we're really excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Anything you'd like to add? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm super excited. This is the first like Call of Duty um, event. Like like, said, one at a time. Rise. One at a time. Uh, really, really exciting. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but uh, one at a fucking time, y'all. Come on, you're reporters. One at a time. Favorite memories from the original. I sit there and throw two voices at you. I I I remember. I remember the first nuke I ever got was on the map. S Dude, that guy looks like he has the like angry filter eyebrow thing on. Constantly. ACR going crazy. Look at his eyebrows, bro. He looks like he has that angry filter on on TikTok. You know what I'm talking about, chap? What's up, Nate? <laughs> T-Pain? Oh, man, I hope not. I... T Pain's cool and all, but I just. In, no, so I just. It felt like they were pushing for something, and I don't. What do you look for? I don't know. I just played the missions are fire. Bro, that dude's eyebrows. I cannot stop I looking at them. Wasn't that the one we had the crawl and be secretive or something like that, too? I always love the, like, the sniper missions where yeah, you guys be like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was really dope. I love that. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not I can't. Any more time. Go I can't unsee that guy's eyebrows, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're forever engraved in my brain, bro. Holy crap. Dude, that dude's eyebrows are crazy. Homie, whoa, dude, that is wild. That dude's like, like constant. He looks pissed. You got a coffee ad? Huh. Oh. I don't even drink coffee. Hmm. Odd. Angry birds. <laughs> no, it's the angry filter on TikTok, you know? What, wait, what was that? How, they showed that for like two seconds. Okay. <sighs> so beta is today. No, it's tomorrow. All right, well, we get to see multiplayer and Warzone 2. Wait, what you just got the beta, the open beta now. I just got to wait for it to download. Warzone. Well, I think, is that Aiden? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited yep. to see the map. I think once you download it, you have, you still have to wait. And I liked in It'll probably be something like 11 o'clock tonight or 12 o'clock tonight. Like buildings for like building fights because I'm, I'm a close range player. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Because they're not going to open up the game while all these guys are playing. First, it's going to be these guys going against each other. Then they'll open it up probably after. I'm really curious. I'm going to ask this again. Does anybody know? Um, I pre-ordered on Battle.net. If I wanted to, am I able to play the beta on PlayStation? Even though I pre-ordered via Battle.net? Does anybody know the answer to that? I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of odd. It's like... Because I, I technically I pre-ordered. I just didn't pre-order on PlayStation. You know what I mean? Uh, they're going to do Warzone 2. Probably around somewhere mid-November. I don't think there's a date, though. I don't think there's an actual date, but everyone's speculating like November 15, 16, somewhere around there somewhere. Hey, what's up, Brian? How you doing, man?
I'm serious. Warzone 2. Look it up. You can play open beta on the 18th on PlayStation without pre-order. I know, but what, what I pre-ordered on Battle.net. It says October 28th for Modern Warfare 2, Mark. For Modern Warfare 2. I said Warzone 2. I tried to Google it. I couldn't find anything. Yeah, yeah. There's two things. There's Modern Warfare 2 and there's Warzone 2. Oh. Here we go. Team. All of us. Let's go get him. You can only play pre-order beta on the platform you bought it through. So you gotta wait. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm probably not even gonna play it anyways, but... God, about time this actually started. Hello, everyone. God, look at all these streamers. Call of Duty wow, that is crazy. The general manager of Call of Duty, and I am thrilled to help kick off a truly significant moment, not only for the highly anticipated upcoming release of Modern Warfare 2, but a turn very back up the, the game the volume of the entire what? Call of Duty franchise. You see, over the last several years, we've experienced explosive and dynamic growth, and we've learned a ton along the Can way. Can you not hear? And those learnings have fueled our ambition to deliver a wholly new, elevated player experience. One focused, of course, on you guys want the volume up a little bit, but also state of the art tech advancements built to support a more connected Call of Duty community than ever before. So just know that what we shared today across Modern Warfare 2, our brand new Warzone 2.0 experience, yeah, Mark, yeah, this fall, and our designs to bring Warzone to mobile for players on the go are all certainly big news. But it's just the first chapter of a very bold, long term vision that we carry. I'll turn it up just a little bit. Even higher heights in the years to come. Ultimately, though, we know that you, our players and fans around the world, will be the judge of all that. And it's why we are thrilled she to sounds be out of breath. this on the eve of our Modern Warfare 2 beta and to be here live in person with more than 200 of the biggest streamers and creators in all of gaming. They will finally get their hands on the true star of the show the gameplay itself that must so be nice let's get right into it <laughs> it is my esteemed ninja. pleasure to introduce <laughs> alongside me patrick kelly i resonate with ninja bro he gets so much hate for no reason executive creative director of call of duty pat welcome thank you johanna it's so exciting to be here with all of you uh, it's been such a journey to get to this place you know I, I, on the franchise i always get asked by people or I regularly get asked by people what are the areas you focused on improving or what are the areas you innovated on hopefully everything we worked on improving and innovating on every area of the game <laughs> I, I it, it always comes I mean, back yeah. to the gameplay hey, it's in the tab, man. Hey. I, I could go on and on i love him bro things like third person things like most relatable streamer in the space of battle royale we've got an all-new mode in dmz that has large player counts along with massive player counts of, of ai um and it goes on and on and on. We've got mobile connected with progression and everything else across all of the, the games. And it just goes on and on. But you know what? It all comes back to one thing. It comes back to fun. Everything we do is yeah, in no the shit, service Sherlock. of fun. Whether you're a hardcore player or a casual player, whether you are somebody who likes to play with your friends or you like to play alone, wherever you play it, be it on console or PC or mobile, um, however you play, whether you're a camper or a slayer, we've tried to think about fun for you and hopefully today you're going to see that and play that and uh fun is what you come away with absolutely uh you know fun is definitely what we're going to be heavily focused on 
And I'm particularly excited about some of the social features that are coming as part of this launch. Things like proximity chat, a new gulag twist. Proximity chat? Instances where players <laughs> will interact not only with their own squads, but may even have to work together with other players <laughs> in unexpected and pretty fresh ways. We've already seen some hilarious interactions, in fact, during play sessions. And I can't wait to see how these new ways to connect evolve over time. Now, Pat, what can you tell us about weapons? Oh, wow. So we've completely innovated in the area of connecting you, the player, to your instance in the game, making you feel more in the game. And I guess you can think about it as starting out with the camera. The camera represents your eyes, right? So connecting the camera to your body, we've done that with some inverse kinematics and some physics and, and other things like that. We've connected the body crazy, to the hands actually. on the gun, again, with some sophisticated uh, inverse kinematics. We've connected the gun with the actual bullets coming out of it. So now, when wherever that gun is pointed, however it's pointed, the bullets are coming out of it exactly from the, the barrel. There's no disconnect there. And that's before I even get into what we've done with the new gunsmithing right, and Mike. how you build your weapons and the platforms, et cetera. But look, I, you're going to play it, and I hope you'll love it like we do. All right. Well, we've taken up enough time. But before they kick us yeah, off yeah. the stage, can we tell them about raids? Yes, thank you. So we, with the beginning Raid of Shadow Modern Legends? Warfare 2, and then shortly after that, Warzone 2.0, and then very shortly after that, for the first time ever, we're going to release a raid in Call of Duty. It's a very different kind of gameplay. It's very intense. We think it's very fun, um, and, and we're super excited about it. And by the way, there's one other thing I want to talk about for all, all of uh, you hardcore players out there. I heard so many of you talk about what, what play challenges can you give us beyond just winning, which, anyway, I won't go off on that, but we've got a whole series of quests and gameplay challenges that occur when you actually win in Warzone or you hit different milestones that you'll have an opportunity to, to do. A lot of when I say, everyone in the match will know when you're on them and if you if you prevail at them. So look forward to that. Big things ahead. And now, before we kick it over to Miles and team to carry the day, we are extremely excited to give you the world premiere of the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer trailer. Thanks again and enjoy the show. Okay. Come on. We got intel reports of Hassan and the cartel forming terrorist cells all over the globe. We've never seen activity on this scale before. The world is a vampire. Sorry, I didn't mean to type in my chat. Just ignore that. Just ignore that number one. It's like capture the flag, but capture the hostage. Do not let them cross the border. Is that a javelin? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Wait, was that more than four people? Third person. Oh, there we go. 
Yes. Listen, that was cool and all, you know, but they always hype the shit out and they, they do a good job of making it. Wait, they're playing it again. They always do a good job with these trailers and hyping it up. I'm not, I'm not sold. I'm not going to be like, oh my God. We've never seen activity on this. I want to see more Warzone 2 stuff though. Juggernaut. What's up, Daz? Enemies above. Drill charge. This I don't know about that. That's you're gonna be okay. Hostage secure. Who's actually going to use those little camera things, though? Okay, hang on. I want to watch this again, though. This part. It's coming up. They're coming up to the war zone. A little bit of a war zone part. Right here. Right here. War zone. War zone 2. How many people are right here? One, two. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Those are there were five people there. Is it? Hmm. Pretty sure there's five people there. Unless I'm bad at counting. I could be bad at counting. And if there's boats, is there gonna be swimming? Are you gonna be able to swim or is it just gonna be like water you can just wade in? Please don't add tanks. We don't need them. Don't add tanks to Warzone. We don't need them. Please. Please. Please do not add tanks to Warzone. We don't need them. Maybe have its own separate mode. Have your own separate mode with so, with tanks, so but do not we are incredibly add it in the regular mode. Today. And after that, quite frankly, how can you not be? My name is Miles Ross, and I am so excited to truly be here with a few of the members of the Infinity Ward team who are bringing Modern Warfare 2 to life. Guys, we have 200 of our friends behind us who are going to be playing. That's crazy, Mike. I don't know how that would be. I don't know how that would work. We also have Stephanie Snowden, Director of Communications for Infinity Ward, as well as Joe Seeker over the on there, Jeff Smith, Multiplayer Design Directors here at Infinity Ward. Guys, first off, oh, how are things <laughs> evolving uh, from Modern Warfare 2019? I mean, let's start high level because there's a lot to get through today, guys. You saw that trailer. Let's go with the philosophy, Steph. Let's, look at all the guys in the back waving, bro. The of the game. You all the streamers, look at them. <laughs> there is so much. This game has... <laughs> just so much content it's got something for everyone and it's really been the result of three years of hard work um at iw and our partners across all of the activision studios and so much of that work started with you guys at home the community the fans our creators here and that conversation and feedback from 2019 is really been a core piece of what modern warfare 2 is and it's a dialogue oh, that we hope to uh, still talking? You know, continue, especially here today. Well, we've got so much in store with this MP experience. And um, people like Jeff and Joe here, who I am honored to work with and their experience on this franchise, we're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so Jeff, um, well, I don't know where to start anymore. Uh, let's, uh, let's set up what Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is, is all about. Uh, and let's stay high level for now, because there's a lot of details, friends, juicy details. Sure. I mean, you know, when you come into making a sequel, it can be kind of tricky. You know, um, what do you keep from the previous game? Uh, what do you get rid of? 
And where can you add new I things love in and talking about things. Kind of nicely balanced what I love even more than add. talking about things um, is so like showing few, and displaying, uh, you know? One of them being, I just want to uh, see it. Player behaviors. And I say behaviors um, and not. I want to see uh, some gameplay. I want to see. Say play styles, but that can kind of change. I want to see match, things. Don't talk about it. Be about it. What do you guys got to display for us? put them into three big groups. Uh, like, I hate how they always do this. They always sit here and, like, talk about it for, like, five minutes before they even start showing and anything. We have Sentinels. Um, and these are defensive players. They want to just kind of hold down a building, maybe keep a little overwatch. Um, and then we have um, Stalkers, which are reactive. Stalkers? Oh, I have those in real life. Read the field and read where um, spawns are. And really, we just kind of use they these all, as They all live and thrive on Black Ops 4. With the content that we're making. Um, so they're making enough toys and equipment for players to be successful playing our game. Sounds like a lot of fun. Stephanie, uh, what are some of the new features coming to multiplayer, um, some of the new stuff that you're most excited to talk about? Oh, boy. There are a ton of new features to dive into with this game, but um, we really pushed forward even the most fundamental aspects of, of what makes a Call of Duty game um, with Modern Warfare 2, and it's been really amazing for me to come on board uh, this past year and see these innovations coming to life, to hear Jeff jump into, you know, breaking down the 1v1. Um, and personally for me, uh, water, our water, I've seen the memes, we love water, it's really hard to make in games. Um, but the aquatic combat, some of the things you're able to do with vehicles in the water, I think that level of immersion is really going to speak to fans and has been something that I've really enjoyed playing the last, uh, last couple months. Aquatic combat, Steph loves to swim. Um, Joe, sure can, we, can we go into some details about our water-based adventures in MW2? Yeah, I mean, last game we really wanted to add water, and we knew we didn't have time, right? So in Verdance, we froze the rivers and we made the outskirts just to kill trigger. In this game, as soon as we started Modern Warfare 2, we leaned into water, both visually, um, beautiful caustics. But can you actually um, swim, though? With white caps. Um, but we also, the gameplay side, there's unique ballistics underwater. Um, you'll okay, like listen, the, underwater. this is cool and all, you know, you might, primary weapons. might speak um, to, it's also oh. a nice cover or evasion mechanic. If you're getting shot at, you can dive into the water, and as you get deeper, it gets murkier. Like, the farther you are from something, you can't see it. And so, it's been okay. super fun for us to, to dig I, into I'm, water and really flex on what water could be in Call of Duty. And you saw the water chat. The mine that floats and cool. every the piece of equipment. I like water. Yeah, I, I love it. Filtered like I like that. Through water, like we had to look at everything. We can swim and say, How like little water? fish. Our vehicles, What's the best our vehicles That's cool. Just slowly submerge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really would instead of blinking out. Yeah. I, I really thought they were just talking about just being in boats. Oh my god. And jet skis. And I'm like, no one's gonna do that. Literally. Only like little bots that are like, ooh, cool. About the ground and the air. Like, I mean, what else is going to be coming to the movement system, Joe? What do we got? Well, you know, last game we did mount um, and we had slide, and, and even though we're a military shooter, fluid. Please tell me they're getting rid of mounting. To us. So this game, if you saw in the trailer, you can see here on the video, we have a new ledge hang mechanic, and that's essentially a high mantle. But instead of doing a high mantle and throwing yourself up over into combat, you can now peek. If you have a pistol, you can pull that pistol out and use that. Um, oh. We also added a dive. You know, last game we had the slide that kept your gun up, but we really wanted players to have an option where if they're getting shot at, they don't know where they're getting shot at, they can get down, get out of fire. But the other really cool thing is it dives just high enough to let you get through a window. And so if you throw a grenade up into a building, second story, often you'll see players, you know, like rats leaving a ship. Diving Are they talking about the dolphin window. diving? And, I swear, uh, bro. Another, another don't don't players. don't fuck and, with and my heart, bro. Don't play with my yeah, emotions. All of these dynamic movements mean you can interact with. Tell me, vehicles, tell me, there's dolphin diving in a very cool way. I'm gonna save uh, some of that some of that gas for. When tell me, there's dolphin diving. Now, but uh, it's a really exciting. Please. All right, vehicle details to come. Uh, but now, guys, let's talk about equipment. Obviously, Call of Duty. Guys, hit that reaction button. Hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this out there to new people. New dynamite, new items that we're going to be Almost at 50 reactions already. Using in all sorts in the next game. I mean, you saw some cool stuff in the trailer. You saw the drill charge. You saw the shock stick. Um, one of the other cool ones you saw is the inflatable decoy. And this is a mine that you can throw out. And it basically sits there. And if a player gets close to it, it auto deploys. And uh, basically inflates like a, like a car airbag going off. <laughs> And it faces the person that triggered it, and so it's a great distraction technique. You can also fire it off with a with a clacker when, if you want to control when it goes off. You can throw it in water, and here you just saw the the. DDoS. Hey, let's go. There's 50 yeah, reactions, chat. Let's go, game. baby. And the DDoS is our, our kind of answer of like, hey, I'm gonna breach this building. I want to go. What's up, Ernesto? House, but I don't want to deal. With uh, they're about to get to some good stuff, DDoS. I'm sure. Boom! It's gonna shut down. Everything. Any second now, they're gonna get to some really good yeah, stuff. Some like gameplay and shit. Um, you saw the heartbeat sensor. So just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Uh, but it also has a battery it's all coming balancing in. mechanic, so you can't use it indefinitely in Warzone. 
Um, and there's, I mean, there's this so much. This is the TAC more. cam, too, which yeah. you guys yeah. just saw, which to me is. Um, my They're talking about like the different you mechanics and stuff right now, yeah, movement and stuff. You can patch into your teammates. So you can I hope they have dolphin diving. Yeah, kind of like a sticky GoPro, but will actually mark your enemies for um, your team. Yeah. So it's, it's. I, I expect to see a lot of fun There's moments so many, with that today. There's <laughs> so many toys and new tools that we're like, we just want players to get in and play with. I think there's something like 13 filled play with grades, me. you know, between Warzone and Core MP, and it's it's pretty awesome. Oh my God. Until they all get DDoS. Ha, ha, yeah. ha, ha. <laughs> uh, all this talk about equipment, uh, it reminds me, I mean, that's one element to look at now, but we've also got Gunsmith, brand new Gunsmith. Uh, guys, what can you tell me about it and, and how will it change the way that we you know level our weapons and manage them? I mean, what's going on there? Yeah, so the new gunsmith allows players to build out their weapons more smoothly than ever before. We, we put out some videos yesterday for the Intel drop. I hope people dig into those if you want a better look at Gunsmith 2.0. But we're really looking at unprecedented opportunities for weapon customization. And the new weapon platforming will actually allow players to unlock universal attachments through cross progression. So we saw a lot of really positive feedback from the community yesterday. This is sort of intended to, you know, decrease the grind. You're no longer unlocking every single attachment for every single weapon. There will be some shared attachments through progression. And um, I'm really excited to see the streamers and the content creators jump into huh? this today. Um, I know. I know we all love the gun bench from 2019, so it's exciting. Yeah, this does sound amazing. Uh, so we've been hearing uh, a little bit about weapon platforms and shared attachments. This is very, very cool stuff. Can you dive into those details, though, Jeremy? What can we shared attack. Yeah, oh, so of, like if I get like a grip, said, um, we if I get a grip, I can use that on multiple like weapons instead of having a grip to get a grip on each weapon. Is that what they're like saying? Motivator for that system, and we kind of hit that. We. You could, you could take it functionally through attachments, but the weapon name wouldn't change, and we couldn't change the receiver. And really, that's the key thing this game, is you can go into Gunsmith, you can set up an AK-47 assault rifle with a thermal optic, with a suppressor, with a grip, and then you can say, you know what, I want to change up the playstyle of this gun. You can swap out the receiver to the AK-74U, make it an SMG, but you can keep that I actually like that idea, to be honest. Come with. And to what Stephanie said, we have shared attachments within these platforms. We have branching progression. You unlock those guns by playing with other guns. And then we have shared attachments across all guns. And it's all to hit this vision of I'm building up an arsenal of weapons and an arsenal of attachments. I'm sitting down to my gun bench, and I'm going to make the perfect weapon for me. I think the, maybe the simplest way to think about it is, this, is a gun tree. And each time uh, you hit a branch, uh, that's a receiver, and they and they grow out of that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's you know. Someone did the banana song. I heard it. They it went. Damn. You know, is, is based in that changing the weapon type. <laughs> and I heard and someone go. Damn. Really seamless <laughs> experience for players looking to build out. That's funny. The perfect weapon for a multitude of play styles. So you're going to be able to jump into that platform and customize however you want for you know situational combat. And um, you're actually going to see the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault in action this girl in. today, which is the entirely unlocked Platform 1, the M4, the Mic 4. And the Weapon Vault maintains its aesthetic properties mm. across I all actually actually about to cry. attachments. So we've heard you talk about the Frankenprint. This is our answer. It's an extremely rare. Um, this is a huge, you know, project for, mm. for our teams to design these. But... Um, Almost every streamer is watching this. Oh, uh, welcome to the internet. Even better, you can unlock the entire <laughs> Cinder Weapon Vault with the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 2. Welcome to the COD community. <laughs> Available to players, so we can rock with that thing all weekend long. Okay, so Gunsmith looks incredible. Uh, okay, I'm excited. I cannot wait to get into this one soon. Our streamers are going to get into this one soon as well. Uh, but first, guys, we need to hear about maps and modes. We've got our tools to play with, equipment, weapons, maps and modes, though. Let's get into this one. Uh, let's get into uh, the design team, you know, the philosophy, uh, I suppose, behind building out maps. Ask me, Jeff, this is for you. Um, yeah, you know, uh, right from the start, we knew we wanted to build a big, another big map, um, not only for Battle Royale, but also for this other mode that we've been working on for uh, quite a long time. <laughs> um, I read about that on the internet. Ah, yeah. yes. <laughs> but, you know, when, when you lay out these big maps, you it's kind of a collection of all these little POIs, these points of interest. And um, within each of these, we've really fine-tuned that they can play core large-scale core mode. And there's a lot of streamers war, there. Um, and a bunch of others. Crazy. Um, really well. And so, you know, stepping back from this large... They probably got like about 150, 200 streamers there, if I had to guess. ...gameplay that we have, we looked back at our 6v6 maps and really tried to refine and uh, make them a tighter experience to contrast all this big world um, kind of exploratory gameplay. 
So the maps uh, for 6v6, um, in comparison to the last game, they're just um, a little bit more straightforward, a little bit more refined, and um, I think fans will really enjoy how um, quick they play. That sounds... A lot of diversity in those maps yeah. as well. A lot of visual variety, some colorful maps in there, and um, they, I think they, they feel really clean. Guys, you're moving me in ways I didn't imagine to be moved today. <laughs> excellent stuff. Cry? I might. <laughs> hey, hey, it's the first time for okay. here on, on air. Uh, we've got some of the maps that we are going to be seeing in MW2. Uh, starting with one, uh, we've got a real fun one here, guys. This is one of the aforementioned battle maps. Uh, team, can you give me some details on Sarif Bay? So Sarif Bay is this little fishing town um, in the south coast of our big map. And it, we picked this because it has such a great mix of gameplay. Uh, it's right on a harbor, so we get to show off all our boats and our new amphibious um, APC. Um, and, you know, swimming, as we've already said. Um, Something's fishy about this. Inside the town is this really intense urban combat with all these tight little alleyways. And uh, all this great rooftop combat. And mixed with our ledge hang, you get these really cool parkour combat um, uh, action happening. Yeah, I love how you describe the uh, the rooftops there on this map specifically. Who says like they won't, Michael? System. You, can you never know. You can migrate that entire vertical. You can go up there yeah. and just hang out and but I doubt it others <laughs> I doubt it I totally doubt <laughs> they would fantastic Jeff okay so that's one of our large but you maps. never know man uh, what about some of the 6v6 maps I think we have uh, we have some totally doubt they would but you never know we're gonna be seeing today uh, named Mercado Las Almas uh, do you mind giving us some details on this one sure Mercado is um, is a uh, little street market in a historic section in Mexico um, our story behind this is, uh, you know, the authorities have some intel that uh, at least they're not remakes. Are being smuggled out of a warehouse, and they're going in trying to um, find and seize them. Um, this map plays really fast and a lot of action right down that center lane. Um, the Mercado is a very dangerous uh, neck of the woods, so watch out <laughs> when you're uh, playing in the beta. It plays fast. I cannot wait, really cannot wait. Looks fantastic. So and again, a small uh, map, I guess. See, uh, you know, how that ties into campaigns and whatnot. All sorts of fun and games wink, ahead wink. of us. Looks amazing. Battle maps, core maps, 6v6. All this looks fantastic. Uh, but let's go back to modes. So we've seen some maps. Uh, what about the modes being played on? Dude, battle? oh my fucking so God. We'll, please we'll stop talking. Uh, but we've got a new <laughs> large scale mode that you've. Uh, they talk so much, right. dude. Let's it's talk crazy. Invasion. So Invasion is, it's a, it's a big war map. It's like, it's a big war TDM, or we affectionately call it the, the shipment of ground war. Um, it's 20 v 20 players. Jesus, 20 v 20. still 20 AI on each team. Uh, AI are coming in fast roping. They're coming in on medium birds. Um, and it's this high action mode. It's super fun, but it's also really chill. The announcer's not barking at you. He's not saying like, hey, get to B, you know, they're taking C. <laughs> you can kind of play it how you want to play it. You sit up on a rooftop and snipe. You can grab a shotgun and go room clearing if you push too far into the enemy. Honestly, space. that's a good AI thing that fucking announcer um, that's always in the really game is like, uh, hey, get to B, they're AI taking C. Oh, they're um, getting Charlie. Yeah, man, AI that shit's annoying and stressful. We don't want AI showing up in search and destroy. We don't want AI in domination. This mode, though, however, was built for AI, and it's a super fun mode. Can't wait for people to try it. Kind of a funny aside, you know, we took the name Ground War from a playlist in MW2, and that was just large-scale TDM and DOM, and we kind of did the DOM in the last game, um, and now we're able to add kind of the sandbox TDM, and so we're kind of completing the cycle of that, um, that old playlist. Yeah, yeah. Well, this large-scale stuff looks amazing. This looks so, so awesome, and uh, okay, so what about the new 6v6 modes? Just keep dialing it in closer and closer. Steph, what have we got? Yeah, so we also have two new 6v6 modes that you're going to be seeing here played today, um, and they will be in beta in Prisoner Rescue and Knockout. Prisoner Rescue. Okay, let's go into Prisoner Rescue first, Joe. So Prisoner Rescue is an attack and defend mode. It's a round-based mode. The defenders have two prisoners. They're kind of spread out, and they need to, to keep hold of them. The goal of the attackers is to get to those prisoners, pick them up, and carry them to Exfil. <laughs> um, when you pick them up, you enter what's called a wounded carry, where they're up on your shoulders, and you can't use your primary weapons. Instead, you have to use a pistol if you brought it, or you're just stuck with fists. But the way that we give the attackers an advantage once they grab that prisoner is they get a radar sweep for their team, so they can call out where the defenders are, I was going to um, say. And the objective icon over the prisoner goes away as soon as they scoop them up. So now the defenders have to basically rotate back to the exfil and set up defensive positions. And it's this heart pounding, adrenaline pushing like mode once you grab that prisoner. My and heart's get them pounding out. just oh, thinking that, about that it. Hero run. Yeah. Can you guys show <laughs> some fucking gameplay? Um, Definitely, uh, you know, S and big S and D energy in this mode, um, which I resonates with me in my time in esports. So this is my personal favorite of the new ones, and um, of course it also is. sort of the strategic revive 
revives that happen. There is mm -hmm. a revive mechanic, and so you are able to to pick up your teammates. And um, I've seen some pretty pretty wild comebacks in our playtest so far. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to play a ton of it yesterday. It was amazing. Incredibly fun. And I know the community is going to love diving into it over the next week. Okay, I can hardly believe that there's actually a lot more content to get through. But there's one more thing I have to bring up. I have the honor of officially announcing that third person view is finally coming to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, what are the details behind this one? They had, modern, they had third person uh, on in Modern Warfare Patrick, 2, like the actual details. Modern Warfare so 2, the original. In the trailer too. Um, it's, it's so it's, not a, it's actually not a surprise that they have third person in this too. And all while we're working on all this other stuff, we've been kind of lifting up and doing third person. It needs this is what mode. And the cool thing is that they did this in Modern Warfare 2. Our game, right? We can just turn on third person. In the beta, we'll be playing it in hardpoint, but we want to try it post launch in SD. We want to try it in VR. Dum Dum uh, Pops are so good. You know, camera work. The camera collision's been reworked. Uh, it handles tight spaces. There's a water camera. There's an interior camera. You can feel the weapon shake when you're firing with it. And it's just, we've put a lot of work into it, and we're excited for people to give it a try. Incredible. I can't wait to see what third person By the time we get like to the gameplay, it'll be time for the uh, beta to be uh, played. Like we've, there's a ton here. I tried to warn you. They're <laughs> delivering a lot of new features for you guys to try out ahead of release. Um, and I said we were going to be bold with this beta, and we are, but there's even more to come at launch. So this is just a taste. How is this just a taste? How can there be even more? <laughs> I mean, we haven't even got to Warzone yet. <laughs> well, <not even> okay. <laughs> okay, so what about uh, this year's third mode? So I'm happy to say that Special Ops will return as our third mode and will be focused Lepita on two-player missions, asymmetrical in game design. So think one player on air support, one player on the ground. And um, I think the OG fans will be really excited because we've looked at, you know, some of the iconic Modern Warfare missions like Overwatch and and really tried to um, implement some of those themes into positivity, the Jake. Design. Positivity. So, uh, we'll be talking more about special ops positivity in the, uh, in the months to come. Steph, you're saying I should be looking uh, now for a special ops partner. Sitting right next to you. Yes, you are indeed. Well, I'm chat. all set then, Stephanie. I do Who's all here with me? Uh, Put a number in the chat if you're uh, paying attention. There. What's that? Indeed, we do. Put a Let's, number in the chat uh, if you're paying attention. <laughs> Okay, no one's paying attention. Empty-handed. <laughs> I was born. Empty-handed. I Mike was. I will ascend. Alex is. Ernesto. Fist. Brian. Michael. Other Michael. Two Michaels. Or arrow. These are merely tools. I am the one to fear. Wow, so cool. Oh my god. Fix your mind. PlayStation players will receive an exclusive operator, Oni. Oni is a warrior and gun for hire, descended from centuries old samurai clan and torn between country and family, just like me. Hang on, chat. Uh, Where is it at? Operator, guys. Oni Hang on. I'm trying to find it. For all who pre I'm trying to find the part. Store plus. Oh, I'm trying to find the part where I fucking care. <sighs> playable in multiplayer and Warzone 2.0. Steph, badass. Oni is awesome. I myself am a PlayStation player, and so I will be locking becoming Oni main day one for this game. Um, <laughs> Um, and it's been really awesome to see our narrative team building out his lore, really bringing this operator to life with the creation of his backstory, his motives. And I think um, the art team absolutely crushed it with this skin. He is so so cool looking <laughs> all right Stephanie, we keep talking about all the uh the things that you know we have to look forward to but um we are missing quite a big one here we're missing the start of the beta so for anyone who wants to get an early first-hand look at modern warfare 2 and trust me you definitely want to it is immediately available around the corner for playstation players who pre-order any version early access to the open beta starts tomorrow so make sure you are preloading right now now also check out your screens since here's exactly when you can play the beta on your platform of choice but don't forget friends it's also definitely worth noting that if you pre-order the vault edition of modern warfare 2 you get to use the red team 141 operator pack and the fjx cinder weapon vault in the beta in addition to being able to earn in-game rewards for playing all sorts of cool swag and don't forget that if you digitally pre-order modern warfare 2 you also get up to a week early of campaign access so wait campaign a week i only pre-ordered it folks. I the hope you the that first deluxe edition for the uh, extra XP. Don't forget, 
you're going to get to see it live and in action in a few short minutes with our crazy set of streamers here 200 plus here 200 plus streamers world. holy fuck i was right we'll be right back to show off the world premiere of warzone 2.0 don't go anywhere Call There's no the way next. you're taking another Your break and telling us not to go anywhere. To Come on, Official man. Official drink of Modern Warfare 2. Little Caesars, a proud partner of Call of Duty Next and Modern Warfare 2. I'm interested in about the pre-order. Do Official it. Official peripheral partner of Call of Duty. Play like a pro on the big screen with 144 hertz VRR and AMD FreeSync. I can't believe on TCL we're getting hit with an TVs. ad. I'm about to throw an ad up. Prime Gaming. Visit gaming.amazon.com. Uh, I'm gonna throw my own ad up. Fuck this. Your free content. <laughs> y'all aren't gonna add me. I'm gonna add y'all. Marching down the green carpet with one mission in mind to be the first players to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This one you gonna have to go. So much in this game. There is almost too much. This is like one of those days where I enter and my hopes are so high. And what are you looking forward to most when it comes to Warzone 2? Prisoner Rescue. I'm looking forward to using that in Prisoner Rescue. Control. Yeah, I said no one ever. A lot of players. Kill streaks, I think. I'm honestly here just to learn as much as I can to prep for old men of optic because those guys are very old now. So maybe some OG maps coming back. A map that everyone can play. Honestly, give me a broken shotgun. <laughs> What's your favorite game mode and Mountain Dew flavor combo? Search and destroy code red. Capture the flag code red. If I'm going hard with the boys on a long night at S&D and I'm trying to Mountain get Mountain Dew sucks game, ass. I'm it gives you fucking stones. Don't night. fucking drink that shit. Terminal or high rise? Easy terminal. Ooh, terminal. Most people have terminal nostalgia. Terminal. Terminal. 100%. Mountain Dew is so fucking bad for you. And I realized that spawn trapping is disgusting. Horrendous. Easy. Strike. High rise. High rise. Terminal. What's your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew? I've grown up on Code Red, so it's still Code Red for me. Honestly, Ugh. I like the basic one, just Mountain Dew itself. Why? Pick Code Red too. Can I get a second one? All right. Baja Blast. Starting October 17th, unlock dual double XP, COD points, and also an exclusive Mountain Dew skin in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 when you buy specifically marked Mountain Dew. You thinking you getting me? Is you kidding me? Ripping everything and nothing in the show. Saying my is fueled by Mountain Dew and kidney stones, bro. I'm telling you. What Any pop is bad for you, Mountain but Dew, Mountain Dew is like notorious, notorious for giving you kidney stones and shit like that. Well dressed people up there, and some definitely not. So telling you. T-shirts are bound. But here we go. Welcome back to Call of Duty. Next friends. I've had so many friends that had kidney stones because of Mountain Dew. It's time to talk about Warzone crazy. 2.0. We got a glimpse of some Warzone 2.0 in the multiplayer multiplayer reveal trailer earlier today. All about it does look awesome. However, we need some true experts to help out. Back who calls it pop, Jamie? Who calls it? Who calls soda pop? Jack O'Hara, game director. Get Infinity the hell World. out of here, Jamie, Joe, right now. Feeling? We ready to party here? I mean, this is, uh, this is a lot. We need to know everything. Warzone 2.0. Stephanie, the world cannot wait. <laughs> it, it, it feels crazy for me to be up here revealing Warzone 2.0. I ended up at IW as a fan Stephanie! of the game, so this moment is absolutely bananas for me. But Warzone 2.0 is everything that we loved about the original Warzone, right? Where it, it, It's based... On the same experience that beer is probably better that, for you than mountain dew to be honest all of those moments and it's a it's a return to shared tech across the universe for modern warfare 2 and that's going to create a really streamlined player experience either soda and, um, i think the key innovation soda that we discussed pop. for multiplayer what's the first word there jamie soda 2.0 as well so we're we're bringing it back it's all connected it's the same world and i think the players are going to love it oh my good god real excited about this one uh god, again there's a lot in this one jack uh, what's your thoughts so far i haven't even so seen fucking gameplay they haven't showed anything yet man i wish i could formulate a, right, an opinion road, my opinion so far on this stream is like it's horrible said, because they, they haven't the showed shit the same weaponry and even more than that but the centerpiece of all this, of course, <laughs> is the new map that we've been working on since 2020 with teams across the globe. Um, it brings together our philosophies on map design. It brings together. No, if it comes to alcohol, I'm drinking to rum. And lots and lots of artwork to make it happen. And Why is the rum so gone? Players experiencing Verdansk and playing in Verdansk over the, the first few years of Warzone, and we're really excited them for them Give to play some Jack and Coke. with their squad. 
there's a wide variety of points of interest for unpopular, players to explore uh, in this uh, map. And we're what was really I gonna looking say? forward um, to seeing everybody. Contrary in. to popular oh, opinion, I actually like map to explore Coke and, and Fireball. I cannot wait. It's definitely, let's take a look. That's right, Miles. Come at me. Welcome Coke and Fireball is kind of good. This is our new map for Warzone 2.0. It is a really interesting mix of geography. It is expansive desert settings with a mix of industrial areas, Cemetery? towns, a city, and of course, water. Corey. It looks way better on this screen. Almost looks like Blackout. Twitter. <laughs> Chat, that looks really uh, similar to Blackout. I'm not even going to lie. Really cool elevation, rocky the shape peaks, of it. There's like a river right here in spaces. Blackout that goes this just like this. And, and then you have a... Uh, the biggest VR map that we've ever made. And then and, right here um, you have a... Uh, what's it called? I'm so excited for all of our streamers here to jump into Al Mazra later Dude, today. That, it's huge. that Look looks so much thing. like Blackout's uh, okay, map. So that was a big picture, and it's a great way to see it from a sort of top-down layout. Spice rum and uh, A&W root beer? Look I've look never tried that. Points of interest. Aren't those streamers so streaming? Not yet. I don't think they've made the game playable. The team works to make it feel like a real space, right? So that there's infrastructure in between. You used to drink American honey and wild turkey? Oh. And if you're paying attention, you might even see a few okay. that seem pretty familiar uh, out there What is this, well. Corey? Um, and so as the team works through these, they're trying to find some variety on each uh, uh, point of interest to make them, them something that the player want to drop in and get the particularity of that That's like a ray. of interest and find the place that they want to drop and where they want to play. Just whether give us enough places that are similar to Blackout so all the Blackout streamers will stop streaming Blackout. be the big city <laughs> that's up the top right. And grow and up, move on from that game. That, or whether they want to work in some of our POIs where we have water water intersecting with ju with geometry here. So we have in this one uh, Ooh, that looks oh, familiar. familiar. Ninja streaming, are they playing? Um, and there's a river system that goes through all of this. So you'll be able to catch in a boat and drive between the different POIs. And here's one of Bro. my favorite, Sawa Village, which is That's my favorite. colloquially yeah. called Sunken Town. I mean, I love to swim. Oh, so God, find you don't remember there. my information, um, dude. I'm curious what you guys think, Jack and Joe. Is he streaming on all platforms, though? I thought. Today, right? We've been talking about this the last couple of days. This is our first time seeing other people who are not us play the hot drop will be today right we've been talking about this the last couple of days this is our first time seeing other people who are not us play warzone 2.0 and so i'm just very curious yeah they're watching this everyone's gonna immediately drop we already knew Ninja was streaming. Yeah, everyone's gonna immediately drop today. Oh, oh, this is. <laughs> I already knew they were all streaming. I even said it. Yeah, there's a lot of nuggets in there for some old uh, Modern Warfare reason, fans. Yeah, I'll say Corey. I think yeah. that's gonna, gonna <laughs> pop off. I think people will land around the edge so they stay in as long as possible in this match. Are you trying to get another <laughs> message with oh, a terrible a grammar spelling? I am. Yes. Yes. Coming up. Trying to piss off more Blackout oh, guys, players. Well, the map looks absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to watch. Let me just let me just say this to all the Blackout players. Later on today. Blackout is dead. Get off the fucking game. No one fucking cares about it. Player elements we talked about a little bit earlier. How do they fit into Warzone 2.0? I mean, they're super simple. There's like four other Call of Duties out. Multiplayer trailer that's all in Warzone, right? It's all integrated. So that tactical camera works in. If you're a streamer grinding Blackout, you're not gonna get anywhere. I'm sorry. The and slide, it's true. The dive, the water, like, you're not gonna grow if that's what swimming. you want. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How do you expect to grow this from something that's not even getting updated? Combat. Here, let me big screen that. Sorry. Captain Miller, you know, apocalypse now coming out of the water, knifing people. I mean, this just looks. Yeah, the rendering team made some work. Send me a message. I don't give a web. fuck. Yeah. yeah. See the caustics on the bottom. Yep. Be I mad. I'm not even sure what caustics are. Blackout's <laughs> dead and has been <laughs> dead for no quite idea, some time. But it sounds great and it looks incredible. <laughs> You can see the armored patrol boat coming by there with its two turrets. It's there's some cool stuff. So I'm glad you brought up vehicles. Uh, Steph, you touched on vehicles a little bit earlier. What can we talk about? Uh, you know, some boats, <laughs> some tanks, some all sorts. Check what we got. So yeah, it does look nice. A new physics and handling model for the vehicles. So some vehicles are you can heavy, slide cancel. Slide more, have more you can slide cancel on all these. Or less traction. And as you're driving them around and you're encountering them and other squads are playing with them, you can choose to shoot off the tires to kind of impact the handling. You can have them, re they react to explosive <laughs> differently based on their weight. So if you're in a heavy armor... There are streamers like going for like world records. RNG, it's going to kind of bounce a little bit, but not quite take the hit as a small sedan. Um, you can also choose with your squad to be rolling into a POI and somebody jumps out on the roof, somebody leans out the window, and suddenly you get yourself a lot of firepower driving into the POI. Of course, that vehicle needs to survive for quite some time in the map if you want to keep using it to go from point to point. Um, and vehicles will run out of gas, or at least most of them will. Um, will run out of gas, <laughs> and then uh, you can bring them to a gas station to fill them up. If your tire has been blown up, you can get out and repair it, or you can bring it to a gas station to get repaired as well. Oh and of my. course, we've got 
you know, water vehicles. We've got a it is difficult for them to do it. They don't want to take the time it takes to learn how to do it either. So you can have that little moment cruising up the river with your whole squad ready to rumble. Um, so yeah, there is so much love that's gone into these you vehicles. Forgot the coolest around. vehicle. The coolest the, vehicle. The massive helicopter the that you can fly big, around, and it's big a big chopper. platform with three doors. Mm -hmm. and people, player, you can move a whole squad through the map. What? Re wreak havoc. It is so cool. Oh my god. I mean, the fact that you can lean out of the window, you know, yep. grab your teammates, pile in a vehicle, actually, you know, do, engage in yep. battle from the window, leaning out, unless shooting some, Unless somebody blew off your door. That won't. Uh, we'll okay. That does complicate That's things. That's <laughs> PTSD Why don't you from dance uh, for us? Joe killing me many times in our play tests. <laughs> uh, I hope the uh, gas prices. But can it really be a world okay. record if only 200 people are playing? And, uh, my head yeah. is quite frankly spinning. Uh, what are the massive Facts. changes uh, you want a little dance? we got in store? Because it feels yeah. like there's, uh, there's so much that's changed. Is it still a gulag? Do we still have circles? Is it still gas? I know there are guns, but do we shoot them? Oh my god, play the freaking game. Oh, Seppi, go. Go, go. We've made some pretty sweet. I'm sorry, I'm impatient. I think to the high level components of, of Warzone 2. No, they haven't showed any gameplay yet, bro. Players with both Believe it or not, how long have they been live? For, no. Experience. But Warzone 2.0, you're going to hear this it stream has been going on for an hour fun. and 15 minutes. Playing with your friends, having and they have not showed a single section of gameplay yet. Game. They've only showed the trailers. One particular feature that I cannot wait to see the streamers <laughs> imagine, engage with will be chat. Imagine if I started my streams and didn't play for an hour and 15 minutes and just talk to you guys. Not that I don't mind. Like You guys probably would love that, right? But imagine that. A little bit more about looting. In, about in Warzone 2.0, I'm, I'm listening to that. The streamers yeah, love that. Frost Chat. Yeah, they're like, yes! <laughs> um, you know, in looting in um, Warzone 2.0, we still have the humming crates. You know, you can still travel around and listen for those. We still have the loose loot on the ground. What's up, Ethan? to add a layer of learnability and, and logic to our looting, right? Guys, so if you, you can do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button while we wait for this, your, your hit the heart reaction on the stream. Go inside, go to the medicine cabinet and get you something We're uh, to almost at 60 reactions. If you guys could get me to 60 loot. reactions, I'll, uh, I'll take off my shirt. Not really, I'm not really going to take off my shirt, but let's get the 60 um, reactions, guys. Yeah, loadout items. Um, there are these hidden caches throughout in between the POIs that are in ground and you can I leave you are, better not always there <laughs> so You can kind of start to develop these paths through the map of how you loot and there's this logic applied to looting You know you can find toolboxes that will have grenades and things in them um, And I could have played like five games of fortune Keep. that are kind of like it's as if the, the military that occupied the space came through and dropped off military items Everybody keep hitting the thumbs up button hit the thumbs up button hit the heart button especially hit the heart button hit the heart button Trip through al Mazarin, quite literally like let's make this a, let's make this a game the, yeah, station, the next yeah, person yeah. that hits yeah, pick up the snacks, thumbs up button okay, cool. gets so a very very big shout out a, a huge component of vr's joke yeah, next I mean, person that shows up on my stream labs really that hits the the, 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 the the like button on the stream so we've got this new mechanic where the circle can actually split. Shut the fuck up, Brian. Almost like a cell splits into two, three, or even four circles. We got my man, Austin Butler. In those circles. Whoa, dude, Austin. Thank you for the like on the stream, Austin. The circles moving you're like gearing up in buildings you're see like, what happens when you uh when you like the stream you get big ass shout outs you have that final fight so it's another kind of like twist in the gameplay that we feel like is a cool world event that would happen like multi-circle oh, closure well, they already have that. The car, we're yeah. going now. Go! All right. So, uh, apart from apart from circle split, uh, what about the gulag? Is that still around? I mean, there's so much change, man. I mean, I'm ready for it. But Joe, what do we got? The dude that played Elvis. Gulag, is that actually you know, his we've name? We've been experimenting with. We've tried some crazy things. With this, <laughs> but the, all the, new the gulag. The gulag that we we have running right now, where we're excited for people to play, is you're not in there alone. You actually have this temporary alliance with another opponent in the what? map, and you guys, you have to work together, and if you can defeat the other team, you can get out, and after that, you guys are enemies again. But for that moment, it's like, all right, we Whoa. need each other. Let's do this. You use the proximity chat to talk to each other. <laughs> and the other thing we've been playing Bro, around with is you may that's kind of lit, AI actually. <laughs> you have to be on your toes. Like, you're working Hang with an on. enemy. There might be an AI here. You're picking up weapons. So let me, let me, let me just say what they just said. In the gulag, there, you're gonna have a teammate, but you're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have a proximity chat, so you can talk to the teammate, and you guys work together in order to get out of the gulag, to and then when you get out of the gulag, you guys are enemies again. Uh, uh, That's crazy, dude. That's actually really creative. I'm not even gonna lie. That will include AI that may impact how players get their weapons, etc. That's uh, actually uh, creative. Into what that's all about, and if it's even true. 
Absolutely. Um, so strongholds are reinforced buildings that the, uh, that the AI is occupying inside Al Mazra in BR. And the players can choose whether or not they hey, want to. Hey, keep the mics coming in. Keep the mics coming in. Cool rewards, including free loadout items, which is one of the new ways that we're adding for players. Three to circles and on one final circle. Oh. Um, we've worked really hard to bring AI into at scale into Warzone 2, and you're going to encounter them in multiple modes in different way. In BR specifically, they're in these strongholds, and if you get to a stronghold, you can find the location of a black site, which is going to have even a black stuff one? in it, and you can fight your way from one to the next. Um, but in other modes, you're going to find the AI occupying large portions of the map and just kind of protecting different POIs in different ways. Unreal. Okay, so we've all heard the rumors that Warzone 2.0 is going to have some very, very interesting new modes. Uh, would you care to confirm or deny Stephanie Snowden? It's finally time. <laughs> I have read about some new modes on the internet recently, <laughs> but one of the most exciting things about Warzone 2.0 is confirmation that an all new sandbox experience is coming at launch. I am happy to announce DMZ, Call of Duty's extraction mode will arrive with Warzone 2.0 at launch later this year. I played DMZ for the very first time on my first day at IW and to this day playing it nonstop, the possibilities with this game mode DMZ. blow my mind. So DMZ. I can also confirm that DMZ is real. <laughs> we're not going to go into depth. I don't know what DMZ today, is, do and I really don't care right now. I just don't. What I can tell you, though, is we've created is a rich sandbox where you can define your own win condition. You infiltrate Al Mazra, you accomplish your goals, and then you decide to extract when the time is right. It is played across the whole map and the AI is occupying large sections of the map, and they are lethal opponents, and they do command your respect. You have to watch out for them. You have to work with your team. They patrol areas, they occupy strongholds, and they'll reinforce based on players' actions. And then in on top of all this, you can choose which mission you want to accomplish, or you can chase after a variety of, of activities in the world. And you can play this differently depending on your playstyle. You can go loud, like I always do. You can go quiet, or you can hunt other players or avoid them entirely. Or you could just decide, hey, I'm going to explore the secrets of Almazra and see what's there. Loot up, exfil. It's 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 totally up to player choice there. And um, I'm I'm really excited about the full scale of what we're delivering for this chapter. And we want players to have an amazing experience in Warzone 2.0. We've been listening to the conversations in the community, specifically around small maps, ricochet, anti-cheat, ranked play, and beyond. And Trust me, although we're touching on some of the core updates to the overall Warzone 2.0 experience today and mostly focusing on BR. Uh, coming up to an hour, 30 minutes chat. Over the coming months. This is only the beginning for Warzone 2.0. Okay, I need Warzone 2.0 and DMZ in my life ASAP. Stephanie, when? Warzone 2.0 will be free to play for everyone DMZ on November life, 16th with the start of season one across Modern Warfare 2. Mark your calendars, that's about two weeks uh, Warzone. After, what? <laughs> after Modern Warfare November 2 16th. launches. Um, and we had 125 November 16th, million Warzone players 2. in the original Warzone. November 16th. I cannot wait to see all of you and hopefully November 16th. more of you in Almazra for this experience. November 16th. So, okay, it is confirmed. November 16th, Warzone 2, November 16th, Warzone 2 chat. Us. Very, very November 16th, Warzone 2. And go. Uh, we will see all of you in Al Mazra on November 16th, but don't go anywhere just yet. Stick around because when we come back, you'll see just what Warzone looks like when it's built up from the ground for mobile. You're not going to want to miss this. I, I then, do want to miss this because I don't care about mobile. I just want to see all of our friends set up across the each and every Warzone Modern Warfare 2 like multiplayer. We've got Warzone 2.0, Battle Royale. We've got Warzone Mobile. It's all happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go too far. Call of Duty Next, brought to you by the GMC Hummer EV Pickup, the world's first all-electric super truck. Intel, built for the next generation of gaming. Oh Squad up sooner with Xfinity Rewards. Get early access to Modern Warfare 2's open beta. Dude. Jack Lynx, squad up with Sasquatch. How are Jack we Lynx almost an hour good. and a half into this and haven't seen Eureka actual ergonomic. gameplay yet? Leading designer in gaming furniture and proud partner. An hour and a half. Two. We've been through two different ad sections now. We've been through two trailers, a whole bunch of fucking talking. What is this? 
Is this a Warzone 2 trailer, please? Whoa. He had a skin condition. Or is that a scar? I don't know. You're so impatient. I mean, I, we've been sitting here for like an hour and a half, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? That looks wait am i am i is this what is this is this is this for dance chat chat am i crazy is this fucking for dance are they what am i watching right now oh they're putting it on mobile <laughs> On mobile already good to go but finally we're hitting something new here coming into mobile we got warzone mobile 2 here for you it's me beef mommy and i couldn't be more excited so to be mobile, here with bro. none other than chris Plummer. and chris what do you have for us today <laughs> That's right. i thought today they were bringing we it back introduce call of duty warzone for everything mobile. Yeah. this is the real thing and it's on your phone <laughs> For the first time ever, you can drop into Call of Duty Warzone from wherever life takes you. Hey, I said I said they might bring it back. I didn't say what way. Alpha, so it's only going to get better. And for Warzone fans, you will recognize this drop sequence right away. I mean, honestly, it just gives me so much nostalgia. But wait a minute, Put a bait and switch, Chris, is right? That the legendary Verdask. You know, this is where Warzone gameplay was born. And we're bringing the legendary Verdance map to mobile <laughs> for the very first time mm. from its hallmark vistas and these dense urban areas. They're just so much fun to play in. Wide open fields, ready for battle. But imagine if you brought it Intimate, back for all platforms. Quarters, combat environments. <laughs> There's so much variety in Verdance. It's famous for good Whoa. reason. Teaming with fan favorite Dude, why does the quality like look Yard like Black Ops 1? And Superstore even tv station well i'm getting classic call of duty warzone flashbacks here can you tell us more about the gameplay or you know what maybe just give me your phone real quick maybe i can see for myself no <laughs> you know the team has a passion for delivering the most authentic call of duty experience possible for mobile devices from the way you aim and move to the weapon handling and the control responsiveness all these critical little details combined to make call of duty warzone mobile feel best in class We've made sure that the physics, the feedback, the sights and sounds, all those essential little touches are smooth and accurate. It's about creating experiences. I got, so dude, I got so form. excited. You can imagine feeling that dirt compressing under the soles of your boots with every move. Or imagine those tiny shock waves of recoil moving through your entire body with every shot. In Warzone Mobile, these are the kind of details that we care about. I mean, that's and cool and all, but like. Airtight and authentic I don't, that makes me really I don't think i'm i don't think i'm gonna play it to be honest everyone's paying attention to detail and it's finally paying off now when i think of call of duty warzone i think about strategy absolutely there's a lot more going on i'm sure the whole mobile gunplay. community is like freaking example, out about that though like the, all the mobile gamers are like oh my god collapse, you can try to sneak up on another player and pull off a finishing move it's like ultimate bragging rights <laughs> their phone and overheats <laughs> You and your squad, they can complete contracts. Use that cash at buy stations. There's a ton of variety there, including lots of different abilities like bringing back. This a is a chance for all the mobile blackout players to move on. <laughs> now, that contract economy, it adds a ton of depth and strategy through risk and reward. I really like that you brought that up because if you're talking about risk and reward, I think about the kill streaks. I think about the gulag. Are they going to be there too? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Mark. From Warzone, it's going to be there. Sure, there's a way to Especially actually do that. Kill streaks. This means you can deploy your big stick of choice, like you know, a precision airstrike. You might be able to wipe out an entire squad with it. So not so fortunate for them, but they're not necessarily down for the count either because we have the gulag. So here, players can fight for a second chance. So when you go down, you get to fight one on one with another down player, and you can earn your way back into battle. This is how Warzone Mobile plays out on a truly massive scale, unlike anything we've ever played mm -hmm, on mm -hmm, mobile mm -hmm, before. Mm -hmm. For this reason, we're pushing way past the envelope on high player counts to make sure each match is jam-packed with our signature style of combat. So Look, Chad, I like my own stream. Up to 120 live players in the single match. Wait, 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 hold on. Did you just say 120 players? Or do you mean bots? Because it seems like in Battle Royale games on mobile, they're usually loaded up with boring bots. Well, we believe it's critically important and a lot more fun to play with real, live, human opponents. And that is our focus. So for anyone who's tired of playing with nothing but bots, we hear you. We're talking up to 120 real players ready to hunt you down with real human skill and real, real human, human skill. That is Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And we hear you in the crowd. Everyone's excited, and absolutely, it is huge. And I don't think there's a game on mobile that can top that, in terms of real player count, of course. But how are you able to even pull that off? We can support real player counts at dramatically higher scale than we've ever seen in other Battle Royale games on mobile because Warzone Mobile is running on advanced, unified Call of Duty technology. This is the same shared tech behind the console and PC versions of Warzone 2.0. It gives us a ton of advantages, like these incredibly high player counts, authentic Call of Duty combat and gameplay systems. You can download on this phone. You can download this game on your phone, guys, for free. Uh, the only catch is it's going to take up the whole entire storage of your phone. Only uh, 54 gigs. That will be in the console and PC version of Warzone 2.0? Exactly. Delivering a deeply connected experience, it's been a strategic pillar from the beginning of development. Now, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I made that number up, but it's probably going to be. Investment in playing is now recognized across modern Hey, what's up, Kyle? Warzone 2.0 and Warzone Mobile. No worries, man. I so got you. you're playing Call of Duty, it is time well spent, including on You can just hang out here with us. Even your friends listen We're just chilling right now. We're waiting for the gameplay. No, you haven't missed anything. Friends, they have not shown a single ounce of actual mobile, gameplay so far. I mean, so you haven't so missed exciting. anything. I totally get that. Now, one of the coolest benefits of having this kind of connectivity is that Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is loaded up with the same authentic Call of Duty weapons and operators you recognize from Modern a whole Warfare lot of talking. 2 and Warzone 2.0. And whatever you get from the Battle Pass, you will see it on console or PC. It'll also be there on your mobile device, too. And the other way around works as well. I really love to hear that. And as a matter of fact, I saw some of the same weapons and operators being shown earlier today in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Are you aiming to make it exactly the same on all platforms? You know, that's a great question. See, the team's incredibly excited about how deeply connected and authentic the experience is in Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And we'll continue to adapt the best content and features and innovations created across the franchise. But at the same time, we recognize that mobile is a very unique platform. Mobile has its own flavor, advantages, and player expectations. Sounds like the game will be tied into the Call of Duty franchise pretty nicely. And will there be mobile-specific events or content that is unique to Warzone Mobile? Yes. Above all else, the team is committed to ensuring Warzone Mobile is a world-class, mobile-first experience right down to its core. Controls are a huge part of it. It just needs to feel natural on the device, intuitive, and, you know, native to the platform. A lot of it comes down to tuning, and this is why we are supporting synchronous cross-play between iOS and Android platforms exclusively on mobile, and we're avoiding the imbalance that comes with cross-playing between mobile devices and consoles, or mobile to PC. I just hope I just hope there's a fucking uh, possible mobile gameplay experience. I just hope there's a fucking FOV slider on console so all those fucking console plebs can shut up. I, I and that, I say that with the, the most respect. Respectfully. And and also also that way the people that are always bitching and moaning on blackout can move on and they can't they're, they're running out of excuses not to play this game. Even brand new players to the franchise you need a little help. And I'm not talking about mobile, I'm talking about 
We are committed the to actual providing the most robust game. control options anywhere for a pickup and play experience that's accessible to all of our players. I love that accessibility, and that means all my friends can get in on the action for a change, but how do they sign up? <laughs> well, it's time to get your mobile devices ready, because I'm super excited to announce that starting right now, you can pre-register for your free I know, Brian, I know. Play Store. Sign I'm trying to go get lunch. You can be among the first to play when a game launches next year. We look forward to seeing everyone in Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Ah, with that being said, hey, we got Ferg on the horn, and I think he's literally the first one. Just the trailer, lunch. Ethan. Ferg? Hey, guys, Ferg here, and I am thrilled to be one of the first to pre-register for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. And now, you can too. Scan the QR code at the bottom of the screen to be among the first to drop. Tell your friends, because the more pre-registrations we that guy drop, look like the me. more rewards we can earn. Like special Except weapons, he's got like bushier vinyls, eyebrows. Emblems. Plus, if we reach he's got bushier eyebrows and his face moves like a lot more. He's like, hey guys, if you want to check out the new gameplay, you know, come on over here and we'll show you the game. Like, what are you waiting for? Sign up using the QR code below. His like face moves like every fucking second. It's crazy. That guy does kind of look like me. For a minute, I was like, how'd they get that? How do they find me? How do they get that video of me? We <laughs> are the same thing. I'm glad I'm not the only one. This whole fucking face, though, is like moving. I you guys, but, uh, okay, so can't imagine talking to someone like that. Yeah. Do look at me weird, like, hey, hi, my name's my name's Jake. Nice to meet you. It's really great to meet you. You're telling me I could be in the airport playing Warzone now, back in Verdansk? That's lit. Also, Al Mazra looks absolutely incredible. Oh, it's insane. There's no shortage of. Wait, they added in a new girl. I mean. And guy. Is that DJ Khaled? For, for oh, no, wait, what? No. It's incredible. We actually got to load up with some of the players yesterday in a little bit of a pre-test. And loading into Gunsmith 2.0 was actually so aesthetically pleasing. And I think everybody at home, once they also get their hands on it, they're going to love it just as much as we do here. Truly. Uh, Maven, my good, my good friend, you've played more Warzone than most people on the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, you no, eight hours a day for years, it feels like. It, it just seems fresh, man. The map, like everything about it, triple circles, uh, the water the boats i mean i was like kind of the proximity in my king for a while there placing <laughs> under vehicles trying to blow them up and set booby traps and now you're telling me i could do them and not only land but also Bro, at see, some point i'm with it the yes. hype wears off uh, we really have seen a lot so far today after yeah, so much talking mobile course multiplayer there and uh, what's with the granny sweater she's wearing dude i was kind of wondering the same thing bro like what is that sweater she's wearing isn't it hot in there probably welcome ladies and gentlemen to the command center presented by xfinity rewards we're going to be rolling the show through all day today xfinity customers they can start playing modern warfare 2 sooner with xfinity rewards visit xfinity Dot com slash rewards to get your code for early access to the open beta it's free and it's easy to join guys i mean I, every time i sit down like, i take a breather i'm like there's so much but first and foremost guys before we get into this one so many streamers here we need to give yeah. a big shout out to intel who's powering all of the streaming pcs here today massive shout out to those guys clint there are two pcs on every desk explain i, I, I couldn't believe what close is here like the fact that he actually made the trip out i figured they have to have something special the fact that you have a dedicated pc to the streaming side and to the gameplay side and it's set up for this many people intel thank ridiculous. you ridiculous incredible ridiculous uh we're actually almost ready to get into the gameplay guys i mean ali you teased it a little yeah we just played, a little we a little yeah we played a tiny <laughs> bit have an accent too she did. i'm getting mocked here <laughs> <laughs> my bloody desk we uh we got to play a tiny bit yesterday yes tim fun. is playing uh, right now we get to watch 200 streamers uh some of the world's finest quite literally from almost every part yeah. of the planet coming together here in this crazy top secret location what can we expect it's gonna get loud I don't think it's I need going to five. get incredibly <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, double time, cold blooded ghost ultimate. High alert ultimate. Hard line, fast hands. Deddy? Or is it Deddy? Survivor, bird time. I'm gonna go. Phantom, F it. We're just going. We're going loud. I'm gonna try that on four. Well! Let's see what happens. I just built it out. I'm in the very first one. Oh my God. 
Who am I in here with? Uh, I got Joe. I got Joe on my team, and I got Testament on my team, bro. Oh, He's got Joe on his team. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how this goes. Oh, look, chat, some gameplay. Oh, wait, do I got S I got rescue very first. This is my very first gameplay, and it's rescue, bro. <laughs> What's the thing on his... On the left? What is that? Oh, we're rocked. These guys got... Yo, dude, report Symphony. Look, we're in a different game. I'm not, yeah, I'm not in with you. Nice. What's on it? Why is the gun on the left side? I can't tell. I back out. Wait, what? I just... Maybe not that game mode first? I got TDM now. This is better. Pass. There's so many more colors, and that's something that I always enjoy, uh, especially with Call of Duty, is when it's more vibrant and you can see more on the map. I think sometimes you go. Is that a different yeah, spectating like, yeah, like your more realism, like your yeah. grays and browns. Some will hey, have a little bit more color, but like this map in particular, yeah. The second we saw like the fly through of this, yeah, I mean, it just looks gorgeous. Yeah. It really does. Oh and I, not that I had any concerns about the visual side of it, because they knock it out of the park every year, but it's just aesthetically pleasing. It is. It's very, very pretty. That is, of course, Dr. Lupo. Uh, you, can, you can watch him stream this live. Uh, every single member of, of the of the crazy, I don't even have a name for it, the stream pit here, uh, called Next, all of them live on their own channels and unreal, man. Yeah, it's unreal. I mean, all these guys are going hard. You can see he's locked in. Uh, talk a little bit about the game and the movement, though. When I first hopped on yesterday, the movement felt so much different than Call of Duty's in the past. You know, it's not that slide cancel. You gotta complete your slide. The dive mechanic, it plays out so much Oh, you have to complete your slide. There is no slide cancel. Window. Miles, it was a lot of fun. We were getting into the mix. Whoa. We really did get into the mix. I also, I'm gonna tell this now on air in front of God knows how many people, but last night, Ninja wasn't in the venue. I played on his... Set. Oh my God, that guy just dolphin dived. Holy fuck. In -game, like, whisper feed. So I was sending messages to other creators <laughs> as Ninja talking horrendous, <laughs> like horrendous, horrendous trash talk. All very good natured, friends of mine, you know, but I'd be kind of weird to get that from Ninja, right? <laughs> yeah, does yeah. Ninja know you did this? He has no idea. I walked, past, I, walk up uh, no, and slap him. I walked past him today and I was like, good morning, dude. How you been? He's like, hey, man. Not he a single no word, idea. Ali, not a word. But not a word. I actually, Hang on, actually I want to see something really quick. Who else is streaming I was, this? I was on, I believe, Nate Trot's streaming account. I don't believe that uh, he's here I'm today. I'm going back to the top, I man, was, I think. I was getting disrespectful with some people <laughs> on the map, and I believe that you were in my last game. I don't have an exit button on my... <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and watch myself die! The audio quality is so bad. Hold nothing to exit. Got it. I, I, guys, I'm holding X. X. <laughs> Dude, it must have been. I must have unbound it. Wait. Uh, I need someone to kill me. Guys. Guys. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, don't use that. Got it. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> Wait, I need like a, a skip button. Chat, it's not X. Friendly fire, tested for boys. Mm. Sliding is. Dude, I'm trying to light ping and it's almost getting me killed. Holy frick. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Someone told me the AK 74U is very good default. I'm gonna go down here. Interact button whips, it's E. Shit on, by the way. Don't know who you are, but uninstall. 32 year old dad. <laughs> Little thermite for the boys. The hell is that? What the? Behind you, bro. Oh, you're dead. Ammo? Well, I need to find an interact button. Let's well, see how this pistol is. Hey, we're not we're not playing like that in the alpha. Who wants that? I can't 
life, I, if I don't think I got the right build, this recoil is crazy, bro. I'm gonna try and slide, chat. I'm gonna try and slide cancel. You can't. You have to, like, slide jump now. Like this. Like, kind of. I haven't looked at the minimap one time. You can tell I can play multiplayer in years. For steps. Full time oh breaks in the competitive Call of Duty. One of the, maybe, maybe the. Oh, no, don't get shit on. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why I said it that way. Yeah, yeah. like the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chill, the Daddy. There we go. Wait, Swag now. I'm alive? Amazing. Alright, oh! let's get it. Oh, there's an ad. We'll wait for that to load. Do you think you have what it takes to make like it never even happened? I was going to spectate Joe well. Okay, this is kind of lit. I wonder if I can hop up here. Okay. Oh, come on! Who, who is this? Who is that? <laughs> How many ads is there gonna be? Jesus. Three of five? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, chat, that thing makes you spray your gun. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm five and four. I'm positive. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Thank you. Shit on better. She shot him. She shot him in the back, bro. Wabo combo. You're a bullet. Reach out. I'm better than you. What's this? That's that thing. Ah! Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Well, that's about as good as it's gonna get, chat, right there. <laughs> and the game. GG, go next. GG, go next. <laughs> um, keyboard. The AK-74U, that other gun looks pretty nice. I think we flipped spawn. Oh. I don't know oh. why he didn't just reload when he wasn't paying attention. You like can't like jump reload. That's weird. You can't that's, jump and reload? What? That's weird. You can still bunny hop. I can see him do it. That stim animation looks pretty dope. Oh my god, Bobby Poff just got absolutely dumped on. Damn, dude. That 74U looks broke. Jeez. This gun is definitely it. This gun is definitely it. Bro, someone sent me, oh someone sent me a Chick-fil-A worker saving someone from a carjacker and this Chick-fil-A worker is like beating this dude's ass. <laughs> that is actually fucking awesome. And he's like, mm, and have a blessed day. <laughs> No, but it's actually legit though. This guy's actually took this down. Like this dude down. Look at the sub. Oh wait. 
My bad, team. Yeah. Seems like it's like a more like coach training to gun for sure. Let me get back in my groove a little bit. Let me get back in my groove a little bit. Oh. Hey. UAV, that's clutch. Good shot. Yeah, so sliding seems like like there's like no point for sliding. Easy. Come on, baby. First game W, let's go. First game W, let's go. Uh what's it on? Oh, I didn't change any of this either. What did he set? Tim oh. the Tapman's such a loud okay. ass fucking dude. Thoughts? First game W. Looks actually kind of nice. I hate to, I hate to assume so early, but I mean it actually doesn't look too bad. Yo, let me. It kind of looks just like Warzone. A nasty three piece. I mean, uh, modern, yeah, modern yeah, warfare. Have, uh, dropping that in right now, B. It is 44. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear Tim the Tap Man. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's so fucking loud, dude. He's already got a clip up on YouTube or on his Instagram. That is insane how fast he gets that shit up. Little domination, Bob. I hear someone else talking in the background, too. The 74U looks like it just absolutely smacks. Like, I mean, these people are gunning him first, and he's still melting them. Like, they're getting first shots, and he'll still win the gunfight. Damn, you can bunny hop so good in this game. I mean, he's like, literally, look at him. He's like a little jackrabbit. What the hell? Oh, I wonder if he can drop shot. I just want to know, like, about the movement and, like, everything like that. Like, play style and shit. So that's all going to be a part of Warzone, too. Yes, sir. Let's get it rocking. I was frying. This gun is nasty though. Now we're cooking. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Oh. Damn, I thought I had You can just hear everyone else in the background screaming and yelling. No. That's a nasty heady right there. That's a gross heady right there. Yo, you can get a super B-hop too. You can get really far hops. That's what I was thinking. You can get like really far like bunny hops. It's actually kind of crazy. And like you can continuously do it. Damn, dude, that gun is just so no. good. That 74U is yeah, gonna be meta go for. Crazy. That 74U is gonna be meta for some some time. At one point in time, that 74U is gonna be meta. Everyone's going to be using it. Maybe just for the beta. Maybe at some point in this game's time as well. That's 74 using the meta. I can just tell you right now. It always, it always is at some point. 74 use always meta at some point in every Call of Duty. Hey, Mike, what's up, man? Appreciate the like, dude. Oh my God. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. God, his movement's still good, even on this new game. No. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like how the UAV oh is like just on your left hand, like your kill streak. It's like you're calling in a whole ass phone. Like I don't hey, what the? like that animation. I like that better. I like it quick. The faster you can call in a UAV, no. the better. What was that little, I just like, want to like, um, quick, like stun thing. quick flick and that's okay, it. Okay, okay. I'm challenged. Oh my gosh. What the? Whoa. That mantling was weird. I love that it's reminiscent the of Black Ops 4 movement. Nice. You think it is? You can't slide cancel like you can in Black Ops 4 or Warzone. It's all, you have to finish your slide. You can bunny hop like you do in Warzone in Modern Warfare. Come on, baby. God, Joe was so good. No. Dolphin slide cancel is back. Hey, yo, we're kind of shooting. We're kind of shooting. I want to see the dolphin dive. When can we play the beta today? Uh, on the 16th uh, is uh, PlayStation no. only. Um, but it's probably going to be like, oh, yeah, we're it's probably going to be like we in the, at like 12 a.m. I bet. Or somewhere around there, like early morning hours. Maybe. I could be wrong. Joe's always on crack. He's always cracked out. I don't know why. That's why he's losing all his hair. He sweats so hard in the game that his hair falls out. His hairline makes mine look good and my hairline's bad. Like, this guy makes me feel better about my myself with my hairline. Like, look, I'll, I'll show y'all. I don't care because I, I I'm not self conscious about it. But see my hairline. So like, my, he so he makes me feel better about my hairline, bro. This is the beta, yeah. Oh, this is this is the this is the uh the streamer beta, I guess you could say. This is where all the streamers get together and we get to go ooh ah and watch them all play and be jealous that we're not them. 
Must be nice. Getting flown out to play a game for the first time in front of everybody and experience all these events and shit. Seems like a lot of fun. I think this is in LA. I forget. Yeah. But I mean, it just, it just looks like so much fun to do stuff like this. Like, you know, get flown out, play the game, get a nice hotel. Like, that's the life, bro. Like, that's the life. I'm telling you. And they probably get so much clout from all this, too. Like, there's hundreds and thousands of people watching this. And they probably get hella followers and, fo and views from this. Like, for I example, got, have a ton of range, how many viewers does he have? Definitely nice. He's got he's got 4K viewers right now. Nice. So, hella, hella more than what he usually does. Uh, I hope so. One day. One day. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I don't even mind if I don't get there. I would just like snake. to have, like... You can snake too. Consistent can 100 plus snake. viewers. That's all I I would be happy with that. Consistent 100 plus viewers on each stream. That's all I'd ever want. Nice. I'd be happy with that. Oh my I'm God. happy with what I get now. Don't get me wrong. But my end goal is 100 plus. Oh my gosh. But you never know. I mean, you never know. He's just jumping constantly. Oh my god. Who's using a shotgun? That guy's using a shotgun. That dude one pumped him. That's crazy. See, I like the UAV in this game. The, the way that it's quick. I just want to talk to them. I can't take them serious. Oh, come on, baby. Little, little top fragger in the lobby. Little top fragger in the 33 lobby. 33 kills. What you got the most. Baby? What are we saying, baby? Uh. What are we talking about, baby? Hmm. Little 33 bomb. Come on. Why now. is his audio quality oh, yeah. way better than Tim the Tapman's? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a good year, baby. Listen, listen to Tim the Tapman's audio. Hang on. Let me uh, actually mute his before I do that. Yeah, it's going to be a good year. Listen, listen to his uh, audio and how much worse it is. Is he not live anymore? It's got to be live. Listen to his voice audio. Wait, is that a lean? Am I seeing a fucking lean mechanic? Oh, I'm not getting clipped. Oh, I'm not getting... Oh my god, he just got shit on. <laughs> double kill, to be positive. Oh, I spawned A, so they spawned us out. I guess I'll play objective. It's not too bad, though. They are living our dream. That is no doubt about that. A shock six really weird. He's using the 74U now too. I think everyone, everyone, a lot, the majority of these streamers are using uh, the 74U. So, note to the future beta players: 74U might be meta for a little bit. Oh, we just popped dead silence. Okay, so it's like a. No, it's not a perk, but it's like a equipment thing, I guess. I am getting. What is this gun? Is this like a fucking. This is for sure the go to gun. Of people in front of me. Yes, we can test wars on two also. Yep. To be completely honest, it's like all I care about, to be honest. It's always a debate on whether I want to play the beta or not. I don't think the beta, you, I mean, obviously, if I'm on PlayStation, I'm not going to level up anything. I'm not going to be, like, ahead of everyone else. We're all going to start from level one, still. 
The only thing is, is you're a little bit used to the movement and the guns, and that's about it. No idea, maybe, like, going. maybe, because the guns could be tweaked. Things are gonna get nerfed. Things are gonna get buffed. Uh, glitches and everything are gonna get fixed. Uh, oh certain God. things are gonna change from from a beta to when they actually oh release God. the actual game. So that's why I'm, I'm on the ropes about playing the beta. No. I've already pre-ordered now, just because I I do I do know I'm gonna be playing this. Because uh, I want to keep current with the Call of Duties from now on going forward with my streaming career. I want to stay with the current COD. And then, um, oh my, oh my God, God. He's shitting on kids. Um, Yo. wow. Oh, yeah. So oh, I want year. the double XP and shit. So I, I ordered the, the deluxe sandwich. Oh, wait, I, sandwich. The, the version. I, I want Chick-fil-A. I'm hungry. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh yeah, clip that. Oh yeah, clip that. Like I said, I really, I really reminisce. I, I really, I can, uh, I can relate to Joe because I mean, look at his hair. He's got, he's got the white guy, skinny white guy hair. Straight, thin, with a receding hairline. That's what that is, chat. But he's fucking one cracked out motherfucker he's a good ass call of duty player he seems like a gen oh he seems like a genuinely good dude actually I shall never rest. like he's always super thankful whenever someone donates to him and shit that's why i like him i follow him on twitch sometimes i'll watch him whenever i'm on twitch which is very rare but you know i watch his youtube videos this is a six no, this is a fucking. This ad is six, six ads long. Can I just refresh the page? Will it go away? Oh, life hack chat. Just refresh the page. What is that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> and the second I killed you, you left. I, I remember. Hey, hey. Pass on the map then you know about like on this one specifically behind crowder there's an underground passageway where one of the flags are and like i didn't even know you could go down there like i had to wrap the entire building before i figured out how to get underground so there's a lot more angles and a lot more uh, passageways than i think a lot of these creators are expecting and that's why we're gonna see possibly a lot more assassination god this stream like bugs me like i just rather i would rather watch like tim the tap man or something Wait, let's let's check on Swag. He's a he's a sweat. Come watch Swag. Want a Big Mac and French fries? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, boy. Oh, boy. They timed out. Uh, Kayla, appreciate the like, by the way. Thank you. Mmm. I'm getting hungry. Anybody else hungry? Hope everyone's having a good day. If you're just now tuning in, we're watching um, some gameplay from the new Modern Warfare 2 game. Uh, so far, it actually doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Like, I mean, it looks similar to, to Modern Warfare, if I'm being honest. Uh, new guns, new maps. Similar movement, not exactly the same. Um, slide canceling is gone. So you have to finish your slide or you have to do some kind of like jumping... Thing. And I think they have like dolphin diving. I think. Damn, K, you almost had it. But it actually looks pretty decent. I can out how to get down here. What's up, Kara? I am doing wonderful. How are you today? Maz, bam this Kazi guy. He just fucking spamming it. For what? Just being a loser. Motherfuckers just chatting. Okay, they got they got a full team now. Let's go. She's just waking up. About to play some Warzone. Hell yeah. I want to go back. I want to go back to Joe. Well, Joe was cracked. So. Alright, what I want from Chick-fil-A, y'all. 
What do I want from Chick-fil-A? Uh. Go through the drive-thru because if you do delivery, they charge like an extra $5 and I ain't about that life. I get large fry or medium <coughs> mm. oh, I said wait what the fuck wait, what the heck is this you know what I just called it or no medium probably right I know what I just called in or now. I've got seven seven thousand one hundred Chick Fil A points. Uh, they have up a UAV, but what's the perk to not be seen on it? Because I feel like I'm dying because of that. I was actually thinking about that, Austin. To be honest, I'll just hide my face cam and let you guys just chill with Joe. Well. <laughs> Another one. I'll see you later, Michael. Have a good night, man. I'm gonna do that, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna order Chick Fil A and I'm gonna go grab it. I'm just gonna leave my stream up. I mean, fuck it. It's watch time for me. It's air time. Why not, you know? It's not gonna hurt y'all. Y'all can just hang out here and uh, just don't be weird. Do I have like a mod in chat? I can pull up my stream actually. I can still moderate while I, while I go to Chick-fil-A. I've never done this before, but this is gonna be a first. I don't know how safe this is to do, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hide my face cam. I'm gonna leave this stream up. Uh, let me make sure it's in high quality for you guys. Nothing but the best for y'all, okay? Yeah. Okay, you don't have to stay in stream, but you can just... Jamie, if you could just check on it occasionally, make sure no one's spamming comments or doing anything really weird. I'll, I'll check up on it. And, and fill up. Same for you, man. I appreciate it, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this up. My mobile order is placed. I'm just going to go and, and grab it from Chick-fil-A, and then I'll just come back and eat here. <laughs> I'll be back. I love you guys. No homo. Maybe a little bit. Don't do the, don't do any weird shit. I'll have my stream up. I'll be watching. I'll be watching on my own stream. Uh, but I'll be back. I'll see you guys in a bit. No, watch out. Nice. Put the scoreboard. Wait, it's so too close. Oh my gosh. Yo, whatever carbine or, or shotgun anybody using, it's. Smoke. I think it's insane. That thing's insane. I'm holding it down right now. I was holding it down. I can't call my streaks in there again. Try just like a bug. Thank you. 
No, I get it. Mm. I have no idea what that does. I'm popping three pieces. Bro, that shotgun is so good, bro. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. A little 65. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Oh my gosh. 65? Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Oh my gosh. B, I'm dropping that thing in drive right now. 65 piece, man? Let's go, baby! Let's go! Oh yeah, we're piecing, baby. We're piecing up. On land? Oh yeah, on land. On land. Yes, sir. Let's go, man. We run it back, baby. We run it back. Hey, we do already have the uh, movement low key almost down. We low key already got the freaking movement down. Wait, what is this game on? What is this? Oh, this game mode stinks. Oh, this game mode stinks. Is this the like revive mode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, get me out of this mode. This mode is terrible. Get me back into normal mode. Yeah. Uh, Phobes, uh, uh, the frames are chalked because they like have us on like windowed mode. Like windowed mode. Like, I don't know why. So it, So it's terrible. It gets bad, but I mean, it is what it is. Guys, click that link. New YouTube video just went up right now. Click that link, please. Please. First time ever dropping a, a, a multiplayer gameplay on the main channel. Please click that link, please. I would love you guys forever. Would literally love you guys forever. Oh, yeah, we're cranking out the content, baby.
We're cranking it out, baby. No, we dropped 65 last game. That was lit. What's going on? Full screen? Uh, I don't think we can. Bro, Ian cannot kill me. Ian cannot kill me. Marcus, my heart carry. Thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. You ever need some sub? I did in the chat. Nah, I'm going in. I'm bringing the block in. Wait. Oh, he killed me right there. Bro. No, I'm no. Maybe that? Can we do the full screen? I don't think we're allowed to, but I'll try. They told us to only, I mean, if, if everybody else is changing, I'll change too. What? Marie, please don't sit on me. Hey, yo, Joe, watch your body. Hey. Watch your body, bro. All right, say less. All right, little S and D. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, baby? What are we talking about, baby? Come on now. Come on now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm gonna go talk down to your neighbor. I'm gonna go talk down to him right now. Stop smoking that. Dream? Say what's good to the camera again? What? Let's go. First, what, not my birthday, but I'm gonna smoke your neighbor. 63. 63. I don't know where. What are we talking about, Jay? What are we talking about, Jay? We clutch those, man. We clutch those, man. What are we saying? What are we doing? 1v3? 1v3? Come on, man. You already know we're clutching those. No, no. Yes, sir. First time playing some S and D. Kind of, I'm kind of vibing with it.
Can I use this or no? Hold on. I'm down. I'm down. Let's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. Uh, my, my name is. Are you Joe? Or Adam yeah. Joe? Uh, I think just Joe. Press uh, your touchpad. Joe. Okay. I'll add you. Okay. Where, where's Hustle? Right there. Yo, I was about to cut that too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Are you almost done? Uh. Yeah, I can probably just. Add you and after this round, if you want to jump. Yeah. Down, down. Yeah, Yo, snipers are low key OP. I For parts that fit your vehicle, go to eBay Motors. Life can be a lot to handle. This magic but Heinz knows there's plenty of magic in all that chaos. So different and so new was like any other. Wow, we're on Verizon now. Because of their new plan, One Unlimited for iPhone. It comes with Apple One. That's Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, and iCloud Plus. All, all included, included on the network you want to be on. Exactly. We could be up here all weekend listening to the weekend. While flinging angry birds. Not you. You're lovely. <gasps> Are you napping? No, I'm watching my favorite show, starring me. <laughs> get your Apple favorites all in one plan. Introducing One Unlimited for iPhone. And now get iPhone 14 Pro on us. Only on Verizon. million dollars for picking players that's a lot of money draft kings you know how many jokes i gotta tell to make a million dollars probably like a half of one take a free shot at a million dollars with draft kings the leader in daily fantasy sports Ah, it's looking tough right now. Try third person? How do I, oh wait. Where's third person? Dang, that's tough. That's tough.
right. Got it. Just dev aired, bro. I'm gonna DM you this, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yep. And then meet Husker in the lobby. Good. I just dev aired. Yo, I love this TikTok. They said to add them, but I don't even know how to add them. I have no idea, like... Guys, new TikTok of the worm. Uh... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Maybe now? I'm telling you guys, we are cranking out the content. Trouble, yo. Hey, yo, she said no. Nah. She said no. Nah. She was on me real quick. Me and Chris, me and Jay God, oh my gosh. Hush. He said no party. I know. She was not happy at me, yo. She said, no, sir. This is not a sub map, I don't think. Who just got gunned? Well stunned. Wait, who is that? 
Yes, we should play, I think, Warzone soon, hopefully. That's really all I care about, to be honest. You see that name? Kobe. Kobe. No, that's like all I care about. I got Jake out of my squad. I have Jay Goat on my squad. Yeah, this is definitely not the best gun for this range right now. What are they doing over there? Oh my gosh. No. What's that mount feature? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's screen tearing? Try now. Try now. Did that? I don't talk trust about quality ever. I love the AI. My gun does not have the range for this. Wait, this one has levels? Why does mine not? Why does my AK not have it? I'm getting scammed. Reach out this gun. The M4. This is kind of slow, though. And it's hitting, but... Hold up. Hold up. This one feels a little thick. This gun feels a little thick. Yo, extremely dope! With a 5,000 biddies, man! Think of it a biddies, bro! Yeah, this map is large. Yo, think of it a biddies, man! Let's go! Try the Fennec? Can I like use stuff on it though or no? Oh, this feels fast. But, but this is like an AR map though. I feel like, like not a sub map. You know what I'm saying? 
See, it's like all fights are like long range. Even like these fights are awkward. What are they using? Yeah, this is probably it. Yeah, what cost is that? Cause this one feels like it's not for this map. Like this is like, it's like a, like a close range sub. Yeah. Bro, get me on an AR ASAP. Uh, yeah, so you can slide, but it's like a slower slide. Oh, what am I doing, dude? Am I just loading? That'd be a turn. Wow. Yeah. It just like feels like, I don't know, just thick and slow. Yeah, not a fan of this map at all. I'm not a fan of this map. This one stinks. Maybe it's like a gr like a ground war map, but this map is definitely not out of it. Try the hurricane. We try that then. What is the hurricane? I guess I'll just keep this then. Yeah, this gun just feels too thick for me. I mean, it's a beam, but it's like, it's just a big body. Hey, what is this, the scar? This thing's about to be twerking. Oh. Let me find out this thing shreds like that. Yo, wait a second. Uh, Warzone 2 stuff I think starts in like 20 minutes, I think, which is. Hold up. I just 
This thing is nice. Ranked up, this will be it. No. Okay, now I find an actual good gun. It's a primary. Yo, the scar is nice. Now I'm cooking. What is that? Oh. What are you doing? Whoa. Not a fan of that map. Not a fan of that map. I gotta keep it a buck. It's not my favorite, I gotta be honest. Yo, the COD guy throwing it back was actually comedy. Oh, cool. Ink Master is back with an all-new host. Welcome to the Ink Master shop. Legendary fan-favorite artist return. But that is not all. <laughs> Ink Master, exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. boost of energy and hydration to help get you going. And amino acids to help you recover after. Hydrating energy from electrolytes and caffeine from natural sources. Advanced energy and muscle recovery support without any sugar. Fuel every workout from start to finish and help keep it going with sustained energy. Energize your every day with amino energy. We're on Verizon now. Because of their new plan, One Unlimited for iPhone. It comes with Apple One. That's Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, Apple Arcade, and iCloud Plus. All, all included, included on the network you want to be on. Exactly. We could be up here all weekend listening to the weekend. While flinging angry birds. Not you. You're lovely. <gasps> Are you napping? No, I'm watching my favorite show, starring me. <laughs> get your Apple favorites all in one plan. Introducing One Unlimited for iPhone. And now get iPhone 14 Pro on us. Only on Verizon. Grab enough loot, we can make our way to Polar Plateau. Uh, Bro, are you lagging? My batteries are toast. Who still uses batteries? Oh, 
wait, you can. Are you can ADS? <gasps> Brad! 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 No! No! What am I playing? Wait, so... So you can ADS still? Like... I'm so confused. Oh. Yo, Brett is down. Uh. Yo, I'm the most turned third person character of all time. Oh. Like, uh, uh, Brett's camping, it's cringe. Can't take him serious, I gotta be honest. <gasps> Krim, yo, somebody give me the lead right now. Somebody give me the lead right now, it's Krim 6, yeah, please. Scope, yeah, I see it. Who is this? Okay, somebody give me the lead. What the? Somebody get me into the league right now. Who is that? Alice, see him. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I, I, this, this mode I'm not the biggest fan of, but yo, we've been freaking frying though. We've been freaking frying though. Yo, we dropped 65. We dropped 65. That was actually nuts. Somebody's gotta get me into the league right now. It's Krim. <laughs> this is interesting. Oh my gosh. No.
can swap like so you can swap like what gun kind of I guess huh interesting so it's like a third person until you aim down sights Definitely interesting. Yeah, so this is just like one mode. Most kills in the lobby right now, turn me up, turn me up, turn me up. Yeah, so far, it's not as clunky as I thought. Because at first, I was like, yo, this movement is clunky, but now, like, I'm vibing. Like, now, like, I'm vibing. But at first, I was nervous, but now I'm like, we're gonna be turned. We're gonna be turned. For sure. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely interesting. It it is a uh, it is a definitely a very very. It's like a million degrees in this house. To say the least. Or in this room, at least. Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play Warzone again. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I got Chick Fil A. Oh, don't you guys worry. There will be a new movement guide. Absolutely. I can't wait for them to start playing Warzone. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, reshare my stream. That. The second I'm home, you already know. Second, I'm home. You already know. I cannot like not have to play this mode though. I don't really want to play the third person mode. It's just not for me. It's cool if you like that. Wait, these motherfuckers forgot my barbecue sauce. I lied. I forgot my bar <laughs> I forgot my motherfucking barbecue sauce. <laughs> I'm I can't find anybody. Can we team up? I don't like your begging. I can't find anybody. I guess we can. I 
Why do they always seems like they overcook my sandwiches? I'm going to see if uh, Wild Cherry wants to play with me later today. I wonder if she ever tunes into the stream. Um, it seems like it's the same. Seems like the, 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 like how the guns play out, it definitely seems like it's the same as like normal, like Modern Warfare. I think. Uh, what he just said is exactly what I've been saying. It, it plays out like Modern Warfare, it looks like. Yo, that clip is so funny. Oh. That's a big ass fucking bite uh, of chicken right okay. there. Hang on. Um, Get some bread on that. One second, stream. I'm uh, going to um, run to the restroom and I shall return, okay? And then I shall return, okay? Give me one moment. The third person, right, right? Shit. Where'd he go? Chick fil A fries are best with barbecue sauce. Change my mind. Shots. Hey, what, what happened to our teammates? Did they all fucking leave? Oh, we got three brand new. It was a 6v3, though, like for the last like minute. No, I never do that. I just do it as is. I have seen people do it though. Mm. They always overbred my chicken. I found myself having to take off some of the breading because there's so much. Fuck, man. No! God damn it, man! Less is more, bro. Like, I like their breading, but they're putting on way too much. I die so fast. Holy fuck. Chat, it's in third person mode. Way too much breading, bro. Good. You should have like a Chick-fil-A in chat stream. Damn, everyone's uh, backing out on swag, okay, man. No, Poor swag. How's the third person mode is different. I mean, that they, everyone's saying they had it back in the old one. It's kind of a 3P demon, bro. Huh? It's kind of nice at 3P. It's, it's fun. You like it? It's cool. It's cool. Bro, what? You, you're just waiting at the wall. You just wait, at, wait you know, roll around the corner. Have you used the Fennec? Yeah. That bro, thing's crazy. That thing's insane. We're going to have you go to the Ground war? Yeah, ground war. Okay, 
Playing ground war. Soon they're gonna play war zone. Then I think they're almost done. I'm pretty sure they play war zone too soon. Dude, ground war. Oh my god. I wait. Don't I have to use ghost? Yeah, I 100% do. Yeah, I gotta use ghost. Fuck! I just bit my cheek, bro. Fucking hate doing that shit, bro. Hmm. Two flies so good. I hate biting my cheek. I regret where I kind of need a sword. And the scavenger. Hold on, I'm the scavenger on this class, man. Damn. I just scavenged it. Fuck, fuck tracker. I can scavenge. He's about to get so mixy. That looks cool. It really does. It does hurt. That's what she said. Chat, make sure you guys drop a like hit that subscribe button down below. This is this is my favorite mode of all time. Oh shit, what team we on? I have no idea. We'll see. Oh, guys, if you don't know who we're watching, we're watching some streamer. Uh, I guess he's some Are like you you team, YouTube streamer or something named Swage or something yeah, like are, that. You're, you're, I don't know. You're, 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 you're. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, I gotta hop in one of these, these fucking oh things. Oh my god! Where's the chopper? Where's the chopper? Go to the chop, clock. Go to the chopper. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see it. Oh man, it's not good enough, man. They're playing ground war now. Oh, we get to see some water gameplay. Oh, or not? Wait, can't you spawn in the chopper? Or no. Get to the chopper! Wait, you just gotta hop in this bitch? Let's go! Right now we're watching their uh, on, ground war slash battlefield gameplay. <laughs> Can they move around on the helicopter? That's kind of dope. Huh. That's actually kind of cool that they can do that. Move around on the helicopter? That's no, crazy. Hell no, hell no. Wait, what? Go, 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 go! Get on the fucking plane, swag! It's time to jump on the fucking plane! <laughs> yeah, it's that fucking. That's fucking oh. mid! That's mid! Yeah. What the fuck is this? What in the fuck? I'm on your six, soldier. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep going. Mid. Enemy KIA. Go through the building, swag. Go, go, go. Mid. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> is that proximity chat? I mean, they're in a party, I'm so I mean. Spawn on on our flag right now. Where's my squad at? I want to start spawn on C. Ah, fuck it. Proximity chat and Call of Duty is gonna be the funniest thing ever. Dude, we gotta get like in the fucking. Yeah. We gotta get in the mix. Swimming. Swimming. Where's our team at, bro? He's going against Joe. Well, rip for you. I gotta get in the mix with my sub. Stocking four, it looks like. Right, it's going on dirty. Music can never be forgiven. I can't believe there's another fucking ad already playing.
Are just out there handing out pizza, everybody? Wow. Wait, what? Dude, this is insane. They treat their COD creators like royalty. Before you know it, you're gonna see one of those workers get under the desk, under under desk, under the desk for him, bro. No, no, come on, cancel! Fuck, man! I knew he was gonna chase me, man. They whore my shit. Whore me. You can't, you can't, like, cancel. Like, cancel your reload or something. I don't know how you do it in this game. I should, I should get into Twix and we're countered. Oh. M4 again? Hmm. Maybe sniping too? We'll see. I heard someone in the background screaming, Cypher, fuck! <laughs> no! It was clocky! Let me get here again if I can. If I can. Or somewhere. Nice. Hmm. Like this is all cool and all, nice. but like I really just want to see the Warzone 2 gameplay. I'm trying, but I can't find anybody, man. Yo, top fragging it. This time that would be lit. I'm trying. Just give me out. I want to see. I want to see the mainstream and oh see God. where they're at. Like if they're talking about like what they're doing, if they're like getting close to it or not. Uh, Call of Duty. Let's see what they say. You're in. Yeah. You can make an AR into an SMG. I mean, we've been saying it. Yeah. Do a lot with a pistol. Pistol into an SMG. Why not say the same SMG pistol into an AR? Who knows? So I've just looked at the kill feed, and Sim Symphony is on the other team. So that's perfect. That's if you could, would you get Chick Fil A every day? Ooh, I mean, I pretty much already do that. I even get Chick-fil-A on Saturday for Sundays, so yeah, I would. There are days where I skip it, though. I mean, there are days where I don't have my Chick-fil-A. You know, rare days, very rare days, but, you know. Uh, it's just so good. It's better. It's better after you skip it for a day or two, though, to be honest. That looks so beautiful. That's a whole map on it. In color as well, it looks great. There is such thing as too much of a good thing. I believe. So if you like skip it for a day or two, you know, it's, it's nice after. We've seen everything so far in this. We've seen vehicle combat, aerial, some crazy gunfights in buildings. Cloak was just chilling inside of a tower. What are you doing playing mobile, bro? Your specific taste to call to do you can find a ground war. Yeah. 
Little These bit. guys are all there's there's a fucking group of people playing it's mobile. It's just fun. It's what the hell? Right Y'all are they're actually there and, and they're the playing the mobile right Warzone now. Verdansk. And you never thought it could be your thumbs? No, oh no no. <laughs> I just really like tinkering with it. Oh yeah. But do I blame it when I have failures? <coughs> yes, I do. Lot of oh, yeah. Yes, I do. No, uh, it's I barely my do. fault. We like. all do, to be honest. <laughs> I understand that. Got a lot of red up there right now. Wait, yeah, so right? you can spawn in a vehicle? You see that? That's dope. Yeah, yeah. It says full, so I guess he's waiting for somebody to be bored. That's sweet. Why? Not notice that. Right, somebody, somebody get knocked out of it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you can spawn in a chopper in a helicopter. Yeah. Must be. Okay. I, I, yeah. I believe we're going to be tossing to the floor soon. I'll tell you, what, I'm going to see if in the three minutes I'm off camera, if I can eat an entire pizza. I'm going to uh, try to. I would like to know if you, you can. Bring me some. Yeah, so I'm going to try and find it. That's my. You'd like a follow-up on that for sure. <laughs> This is Booyah out here. These guys are all grinding. We're going to get to see some war zone later today. It's going to be epic. It is going to be absolutely incredible. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. We're just about done here with watching this Grand War gameplay. We're going to toss it on down to the main stage to find out who Jess has got and who she's going to be talking to. You. Jess, over to you. Thank you so much, Lottie. Yeah, I'm actually here with one of my favorite streamers, Swish M. Crying? Does this shirt say crying? Here at Cod Next. I mean, you're here oh, frying. <laughs> your fellow streamer <laughs> playing what I can only imagine is your favorite game. How does that feel? Um, I thought her shirt said, I thought her so shirt said crying, bro. Like I, honestly, I can't put into words like the feeling to be here right now playing. MLB How was my food? And getting all the first about, like, about as expected. Uh, uh, I'd say eight out of ten. Like, Chick like, chicken sandwich like could have been better. Like, They've been breading the like, shit like, out of my chick know, chicken sandwich. The They've right been now, breading the shit out of it. Like I need less breading, and then they 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 overcook it a little bit. It seems like I don't know. It's weird, but that's what happens when you eat so much Chick Fil A. You start getting particular about things. Honestly, I'm loving third person right now. It's like honestly, I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not because you know we've never had third person, you know, with the the past COD. But um, honestly, I'm loving it a lot, and I love the map. You have had third person in Modern Warfare too. And final question, I mean, what is next for you and your stream and your content? Um, MW2 grind, that's all I'm looking forward to. Can't wait. That makes perfect sense. Well, thank you so much, and uh, best of luck. Have fun out there. Lottie, babe, back on over to you. Who the hell is that? Thank you so much, Jess. And you can see right now, there is so much happening behind us. All the creators, <laughs> you can see the ring lights for days. Uh, so much Modern Warfare 2 being played. Uh, but my name is Lonnie, I'm on the desk, I'm joined by Maven. Uh, but I also do have two very special people to talk about Modern Warfare 2 and what it took to make it look so damn glorious. We've got Mark and Joel joining us. And guys, I mean, studio animation director, and we've got studio art director here. I gotta say, first and foremost, this game is stunning. Awesome. Like it is absolutely beautiful. The colors are incredible. The I mean, it looks yeah. the same as every fucking Call of Duty. Let's be real. Be honest, it's, it's, it's not really just brown. It's right. not just it brown. It had some color. I it promise does. I didn't joke about that already multiple times today. But no, <laughs> yeah. seriously, it's like it's been, there's been a lot of like gray and It brown looks just like modern warfare. I don't know what they're talking about, to be honest, y'all. I don't see it. I'm loving it. It's just, it just feel, feels good. It looks exactly the same as Modern Warfare. I'm so excited to dive deeper into that. But folks at home, if you didn't already know, we've got an epic giveaway from our friends at Jack Links, and each Jack Links supply drop includes a brand new copy of. I hate how they like just like blatantly like lie. Like they're just like, oh, the colors are just like so vibrant, and then it just the quality is just so amazing, and it like literally looks like Modern Warfare just with new guns and shit. Like, look at it. It looks exactly the same as Modern Warfare. Giving you the chance to win the ultimate Modern Warfare 2 supply drop. And I, I'm tr I hate to be like the negative Nancy and the naysayer and all this and stuff, but I mean, it is. I'm just being realistic. Grab your phone and scan the QR code. I'd rather be real than lie. Tune in to Call of Duty next. Squad up. I'd rather be real than lie to myself. I'd rather be real than lie to you guys, and give you a no fluff bull shit free opinion. Yeah, exactly. New features, new guns, new maps, same graphics. I mean, maybe a little bit updated. Maybe the colors are just slightly different. But I mean, it's nothing like groundbreaking. It's not like, oh, the colors. Yeah. The way they're talking about it, it's just not. It's fluff. It's fluff. All fluff. There is that problem. Uh, anyway, but I'm so sorry. You can throw the that. razors out. <laughs> but I tell you what, what is the problem is the color palette. On this How game? long have I been live for? You know, I looked at Damn, coming up to four 
hours. Wow. And I was just floored by how good it looks. What does it take to make a map? You know, how from scratch, you're looking at the color schemes, you're looking at what you want to put in the details. It's very finely detailed. And I think that makes people really want to dive into the game and, and start grinding it. Well, I think like it's it's important to create an immersive environment, go out and capture reality. But you know, at the end of the day, it's all the details. And what's funny about making stuff like this is it's about what you leave out. You know, the real world doesn't isn't completely cluttered all the time. It's very, you know, kind of uh, understated and things like that. So uh, kind of holding people back sometimes. Yeah, exactly, Mike. And, and, you know, uh, especially in a game space, you know, that's important to pay attention. And then AI, putting AI in there and having a living world. In there. I mean, that's just insane. The AI part is something that blows my mind. And I think it really brings such an incredible aspect of that realism, you know, that realistic effect that you guys are trying to achieve here in Modern Warfare 2. And in COD games in general, what does it take to make that happen? Oh, my. Um, <laughs> well, it takes a lot of, like, just research and, and, and reference that we use. Like, all of us are, are mad. Uh, I'm very bad. That, that's the action side of it. Yeah. But we have to have that authenticity where we, we deal with our uh, our military advisors, uh, all different branches of the military. Um, we ask them questions all the time. We're always asking, hey, would you do it like this or would you do it like that? Um, they Most of the time they'll say, yeah, no, nah, I, I wouldn't do it like that. I, yeah, that's, that's, that's Hollywood. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but but uh, they know that it's an entertainment product, so they, they definitely – you know, are, are in it to win it, always giving us the advice that, that we need, plus uh, the extra, you know, pointers in here and there. Then we bring them into the mocap stage. Yeah. Uh, get them suited up. You know, a lot of them never, never been in anything like that. Uh. Spandex, you know. Okay. With dots and stuff, big tough guys, you know. <laughs> um, so What's going on here? Once they get going, I mean, it, it's amazing when you see a lot of the movements that they do, you know. You're like, wow, man, that, that's all, oh, that's going to look good in the game. Yeah. You know? Uh, so yeah, it's it's just a lot of and like effort and and, and, uh, and and magic that goes into it. Mark and I go back on this all the time. It's what you're looking for also in the performance is the human mistakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know when people get scared, when AI gets scared, how yep. do they react? When a, a soldier like you know sometimes these all these consultants do things perfectly. Right. Right. And they they rehearse it. It's muscle memory. But you want those moments where they're making mistakes and they don't do it perfectly. Imperfections. Human. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah. I, I feel like the hard Part, at least from the outside looking in, it's just like finding that fine line between realism and yep. fun. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. Yeah. I, I play games, and I'm not gonna call it any other games, but like they, they try to have like a sometimes like a realistic weighted movement to it that to me is just not as fun. Like I want more arcadey sometimes sure. because yeah. that's just it's, it's we're a, playing a game at yeah. the end of the day. It's a fine mm -hmm. line. It's gotta be very tricky. Mm -hmm. You can't go too overboard and you know rust, wrestle me. All right, let's uh spectate somebody else. Go back to Joe. What's he got going on? Ground war, Seraph Bay. What is the hurricane? I'm gonna go actually. I. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go to Aiden. Yup. He's streaming. Want to protect your family Ugh. with life insurance? Visit simple.havenlife.com to buy Fuck. simplified issue term life insurance without a medical exam. That's right, 100% no medical exam. At Haven Life, you can apply for life insurance in a way that's easy, convenient, and actually affordable. A $250,000 Haven Simple policy starts at just $14 a month. Seriously, ready for peace of mind? Go to simple.havenlife.com and apply today. My God, bro. With no attachments, it's tough, like especially up close, you cannot ADS with it. Super slow. Come on, get me up. I'm gonna snipe this dude. I killed AIs? No way. Fuck, oh, man. Oh my, oh my god. What happened? What the? Someone nuked us? How did we get nuked?
been having a lot of fun. Yeah. This, this one's probably my least favorite so far. Yeah, I just dev air. Let me said, what are you thinking? Uh, I like the third person. You liked it? Yeah, because I played like court. Oh, oh yeah. Like, yeah. Does I it? Yeah, what's up, baby? That's a sign to eat, chat. That's a sign to eat. Yeah, y'all cool if I eat my, my food real quick? My food real quick. Y'all wanna see? Yeah, Little Caesars. Hmm. How do y'all feel about the ground war? How do you guys feel about ground war, chat? I feel like it was aight. Damn, it's about to storm here. I wouldn't play it. Vent Aussies. Um. Gotta give him the cheesy smile for the cheese pizza. Uh. I think they'll sponsor me. Hmm. He's eating, hot. so. Who else is streaming this? Because the makeup uh, artist here the, really uh, animation fine. team yeah, uh, for third on, person. Yeah, we've got and, a lot, uh, you know. There's a, there's a lot of is he streaming it? Crowder. Is this still an M4? You see what you see what I'm asking? No, it turns into a battle rifle. So I so, yeah, dude, we'll, yo, this stream is great and all, but we're missing the authenticity, right? Where? Is the where are the dogs barking? <laughs> where are the dogs barking? <laughs> well, I mean, we got the chat. We got the chat barking. Every we got the chat barking. What the fuck? I'm trying to find someone who's fucking playing instead of eating. <laughs> That's exactly. so unique, uh, fucking stupid. One of them is for the Modern Warfare brand. The other one is for Almazra, the, the big map. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it's uh, a lot of desert tones. It, it just is really, really, really awesome. It's iconic. Iconic greens and all that, you know, inspired by, you know, Almazra and all the uh, yeah. materials. These look awesome. And I also think I need to get some tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they both have uh, ghillie snap-ons, too. Like, like, you know, some people don't even. What you can gilly your, your yeah. Like you don't know nothing about these. You gotta put you know? your ensemble together. Is there like any other Facebook like streamers that, that are playing this right now? Z laner maybe? Is he streaming this? Oh shit, he is. There's Facebook streamers on this. This is the first Facebook streamer that we've seen. That car actually kind of looks cool. 
<laughs> no. I wonder if those are real people that he killed or if those are bots. Uh. So yeah, I want to I want to do a quick reset of the stream because we lost a lot of the viewers that I got when I went to Chick Fil A. So uh, just tune right back in. Those of you that are here, just tune right back in. Right back. <laughs> 